Welcome to Friday. Yep, we're broadcasting. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games. Mm -hmm. Stinky cats. <laughs> oh, you guys can't smell it. But there's some scratching in the litter box going on, and I am not I amused. I have to run out. Ugh. I'll be right back. One, what is wrong? One, one what just, is wrong with those cats? One just Kids, went. Buddy, what are you doing? And then... Tanya cleaned it out, and then the other one went in saying, oh my goodness, it's a clean litter box. I'm going to use it and stink it up as well. Um, tonight, we have some great games because we're playing uh, my favorite shooters on the 2600. Favorite homebrew shooters. And this is part one because there are so many good shooters on the 2600. And these, uh, I'm kind of defining shooter shooters as like... Anything where you're either a fixed uh, ship along an x-axis and you're shooting up or you're shooting sideways. Usually a spaceship. Doesn't have to be a spaceship. Might be a roach. Could be a roach. Um, but tonight we're playing Galagon, Draconian, Ooh. Juno First, Ooh. and Space Game. Because we're doing... Ooh. My favorite shooters. Oh, nice. Part one. Excellent. Because there are so many. So there's going to be at least a part two. Mm. And I'm going through like all the homebrew we've ever played on the show. Mm. Um, I've almost gone through all of it. Yeah. Just like reviewing and looking back. And there are a number of other categories um, of other games that we're going to do as well. Nice. Yeah. Um, but I'll talk about that later. Um so we're going to be playing four of my favorite shooters, mm. and I know I have at least five more mm. favorite shooters. So that'll be another show as well. We might skip to a different genre next time. Mm. Um, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who are floating Over in the side. beside Tanya here. Yes. Alan the Fur, Armscar Coder, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Glassic, Car Charles and Chuck, Coconut 81. 81. Uh, Dino, Dan, if you see Glenn, Main, Great Defender, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Osier, Rapper, 2600, Johnny, Nitro, Johnny, WC, 23, Juan, Urado, Carl G, who made one of the games tonight. Excellent. Space Game, uh, along with Maggie Vogel. Uh, Mark Space, Inc., Metal Atari, 1969, Mick Muse, Miss Command, MK Smith, Misfit, Fix, Money Funster, Nathan Strum, Pack Rat, VG, Quahog, 2600, RC70, Repentless, VG, Ricardo Pym, uh, you're not on that list. Uh, Mighty Squirrel just subscribed. Yay! Thank you so much, Mighty Thank Squirrel. You. You'll be added to the list on the next show because yes. it's not automatic. <laughs> Unfortunately. I manually do it. Yeah. <laughs> and you just resubscribe, so your name will be yes. on the list next week Yay! as well as six week. Yeah. Uh, Smitty B7800, Socrates 0603. Least I could do. Least I could I do. <laughs> yeah. Spartan 581, Esmeralds 2008, D Train 37, Welshman 89, Tiki Dan K, and Trek MD. And mm -hmm. I want to, um, and you can support the show too. And subscribe for free, um, just like the Mighty Squirrel did, uh, by uh, linking your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. And it's free. 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 Thanks. Uh, and make sure you follow and subscribe on all the things. And MCP90 also just subscribed. Excellent. Thank Woo! you so much. Hype train. That started the hype train. Yes. So. <laughs> Whatever that means. It's like more people if, do it. And more people do it, then people get, get emotes, I think. Oh, yeah, so, they so give you, you free emotes. E yeah, that's right. something like that. So we just need one more person. And they Ground Trooper just subscribed, and that should put us over the top. An emote thanks Maybe. to Ground Trooper. Oh. You got it. You did. Great Defender. Oh, Great Defender. Oh, 99, 100. There we go. Woo. We're never entirely sure how, <laughs> how this works, but... Uh, sometimes it does. It, it, sometimes it does. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and Great Defender just cheered 100. Thank you so much. That one's really small to read because it has to fit it all in the same box. Mm. Um, uh, yeah, so make sure you follow and like and subscribe on all the things. And we have a poll topic today. Excellent. All the which things. Which is always fun. Mm. So let's start that poll. Um, what do you think of game scalpers? <laughs> um the first option is i'm glad scalpers are there so it's an easy but expensive way to buy out of sold out games that's one oh, way of looking I at it i see for a sold out game yeah i guess yeah so you know games go on sale if there's a limited amount um people hmm. buy them up along with scalpers because yep. it always happens with popular things mm -hmm. and then the scalpers go and turn it around and sell it for 
a higher price. Mm -hmm. And it won't go as fast because it's at a higher price. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Al in the First, for subscribing, resubscribing again for seven months. Um, yes, everybody likes space shooters. Yeah. S. Ramirez 2008 yeah. says, Ricky and Vicky, everyone. Yes, I will get to that. <laughs> <laughs> everybody knows what I, it's a small community. Everybody yeah. knows what I'm referencing. Everybody yes. knows what I'm talking about. Yes. Uh, number two is. I would have been able to buy it at the original price if scalpers didn't buy them all. Mm. Um, I don't know how much this happens with video games. I know like limited run games that does happen well, quite a I, bit. I almost feel that's part of the appeal and that's why they get such a mass of people buying them yeah. and selling them out so quickly. It's is a certain that they portion of buy scalpers. and resell. Yeah. And I know it happens really, quite a lot with uh, concerts. Like, oh, well, yeah. like that's yeah. huge that because huge. Yeah. they know the bands. They know how well those bands sell. They know if they've been selling out in other cities mm. and they just go, yeah, we're going to buy as many as we can yeah. and sell them for a uh, 50% markup and we will make our money back. Mm. Uh, number three, uh, what can you do? It's not illegal. <laughs> you just like, eh, yeah. whatever, take it, leave it, whatever. They can do what they want. Mm. Number four, it should be banned. Mm -hmm. Track all the games and delist anyone trying to sell a game within a year of buying it. So it's mm. kind of a timeout thing. Thank you, Packrat VG, for resubscribing for nine months. Ooh, yeah. We're going to fill out this list next time. Yeah. <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I don't like scalpers. I hate them. Hate them, hate them. Mm. They add nothing to the conversation. Yeah, that's true. They're terrible. They make artificial scarcity they're the ones who bump up the price yeah and like they literally they bump up the price yeah and they also decrease the amount of games that are for sale at the price that is set by the person who is selling it yeah that's how much they think their game should go to the fans for yeah um but at the same time yeah it's not illegal uh some places actually ticket scalping is illegal and you well, have yeah. to resell it at the price that's on the ticket. Well, for ticket scalping, but yeah. if you're talking about games, it's a little different. It's yeah. reselling, it's, and, it's and your then it property. goes at your market market value. Yeah, it's your property. You bought it. You can mm -hmm. do whatever you want with it yeah. after. After the fact, yeah. And it's very hard to do anything about that. Yeah. Um, I mean, digital sales mm -hmm. erases a all lot. of this. Yeah, like, it's, it's gone. True. It's true. There is no resale. Yeah. Which game companies love yeah. <laughs> yeah because they can keep making the money if yeah if this you person can't wants it. if this person wants a game yeah they have they to go to the source every have time to go to the source yeah, exactly. every single time yeah they can't buy it usually games go down mm. like 99 percent of games go down so they would have bought it at a um secondhand store or you know craigslist ebay whatever at a 75 percent of the original cost mm. uh, when and now with digital sales the cost that that money goes directly to the uh developers of yeah. the game yeah. right yeah um but then you don't own the actual game you know? yeah um, and you could lose your version of it it could just disappear or the hardware well, will no, no longer be able to use it or that's the other it. side of things of, with digital of, with sales digital kind of getting sales. away from the pi from, no no i know but from um it, but yeah scalping yeah from scalping but, but there's yeah. a, there's a downside to that approach too right so the, the, nothing but downsides except yeah. for i know you're not a big fan of digital and a lot of people aren't they like the physical oh, ooh, thank you thank guess for ooh. resubscribing for 10 months um the only advantage with digital is you don't have to leave your house and yeah. you don't have yeah. a physical item that takes up rooms of storage like like we all have. And all there's there's obviously the advantages of having a console and just being like, huh, I want to play game X and boom, downloaded. It's on there. Done. Well, yeah. Boom. Wait 30 <laughs> minutes. Download it. Done. Depending on the size. But, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I received an emote. It's a snowman spider. No, it's a skull, skull with a hat. With a, oh, with a. Um, I thought it was those were legs, and that I, was his little face with a thing. hat. I was like, what is that? It doesn't look like a hat. No, it's a skull with a with a sword. Hype R I P. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Um, 
it's yeah, funny. Yeah, multi carts are a solution with ROMs, but that's yeah. that's a different thing. Yeah, um, it's very specific that's different, to the hardware, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I was watching mm. the threads on both the concerto cart mm. and the Ricky and Vicky. Yeah, talking both about scalpers. Yeah, because uh, the con Ricky and Vicky is sold out. Uh, the 7800 version. They have a version that's exactly, as far as I can tell, exactly the same on Steam. Mm. So you can play it on, you know, PC, Mac, Linux, whatever they support. Um, and uh, they're also talking about Concerto being put out in small batches. And we'll get to that in a second. Um, but they were talk. there were some comments about scalpers. Mm. Most of them were like, eh, what you can do? Well, what can you do? Yeah. Um, so here is the uh, somebody's actually selling a Ricky and Vicky on eBay now, mm. um, and they're originally sixty five, seventy, sixty five the U.S. Oh no, they come packed with a lot of stuff, right? Um, but this one is. Let's see if I can find it in my list. Come on, there we go. Forgot to add that one in. Uh, so somebody is selling it. There we go. On eBay, mm. right there. For what's the bloody price? Oh, it's two. There we go. Yeah. Euros? <laughs> well, yeah, there's yeah, the U.S. Yeah. dollars for uh, with shipping because it's coming from France. So pretty much everybody's going to buy well, yeah, it. Yeah, then the going to be in the U.S. Yeah. Two hundred twenty-five dollars. Including shipping. Winning for the sh that's U.S. dollars. U.S. dollars. <laughs> and then convert that to Canadian, which <laughs> is, is even worse. Painful. Is yeah. very painful. Yeah. Yeah. Ouch. Great offender says. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very ouch. So yeah. that got listed um, as soon like a week, two weeks after. Yeah. Rick and Vicky sold out. So somebody, and uh, uh, and, and they scalper, did yeah. show <laughs> actually they did show when they bought it or when it was uh, packed at least. Oh, okay. Um, where is it? There, February 25th. So, you know what? They did keep it for a little while. Yeah. So, maybe they're not a scalper. Maybe they played all the way through it. But there's... That's possible. So... Nothing's I, saying that's not true. Yeah, because they, if they were like a scalper that bought it, the last little bit of them, it's like, oh, it's selling out. Yeah. Time to buy it. Yeah. And resell it when it's sold out. Yeah. So, this is... I... I would say this not a scalper. You don't know that. Because it got packed February 25th, so they bought it before that. I don't know that, but they sat yeah. on it for a bit, at least. They could have, I mean, they could have just sat on it. I, for it, almost a year, they sat on it. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Who knows? You don't yeah. know. Who anyway, knows? it's really expensive. <laughs> <laughs> um, we won't be buying it. <laughs> uh, no, I have a copy. No. <laughs> um, so, some of the comments on the thread of Ricky and Vicky were, scalpers don't bother me much as they used to. At least a copy is available somewhere. Yeah, and because a lot of collectors, especially homebrew, these people don't let go of their games. Yeah, they buy it and it's theirs till they die, and then it's in an estate sale. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. or they get bored and they sell their whole collection at yeah. once. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was gonna say um, I prefer s someone who's just reselling to you know full out piracy which is a different oh, thing entirely yes. yeah. where the developer gets nothing right so i mean they get nothing both ways well, well yes get, no they got the original they got price, the original price, right yeah. and um uh but the person buying it but if it's a contribute. limited run of hardware then yeah like like they always have the option to create it again and se sell more they right? do yeah so um, in most cases yeah yeah so well we like our t-shirts as well yes thank you. it's uh because we're going to be playing galagon <laughs> yeah which well, is I've got my Galaga port of shirt. Galaga. I like this shirt, yeah. so it's also got you know it's got the full star field on it, which is 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 anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> another comment: You can call it scalping if it ir irritates you, but I don't really see the issue. Yeah. It costs what somebody is willing to pay, uh, and, and nobody has bought that Rick and Vicky yet. Yeah, and I mean, if they drop it or someone offers less and they sell it for less, then so yeah. be it. So, yeah. yeah. Um, somebody says, I find it amusing how some folks get startled as they discover supply and demand. Mm. Um, yeah, it it is capitalism. It's buying it, selling it whenever they want for whatever they want. Yeah. If nobody buys it, then they just they're and stuck then it drops. with they're stuck with that copy that mm -hmm. maybe they bought for um, to scalp. Um, and the, one of the other comments is F scalpers. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say the whole thing. Yeah. 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 
Um, so, mail news and feedback. Uh, there's a mysterious countdown on the Atari Age store. Mm. So mysterious. It's only mysterious if you have not been around Atari Age for any length of time. Because they do this uh, pretty much every time the the sale goes on oh, okay. for new a new batch of homebrews. Gotcha. Um, so it is on number two today, unless he's changed that, which he shouldn't have yet. Um, no, still number two. Um, so that will land it on Sunday, December sixth, twenty twenty, for December new games 6th. going on sale or pre-sale or whatever's happening. They're going to be listed. Yeah. at that point well we need an atari age advent calendar next time <laughs> i want to eat chocolate ooh, ooh, two days left Ooh, mm. one day <laughs> you just buy your own chocolate that's and, true uh, pretend. you can make your yeah. own <laughs> um i have advent calendars on the brain yeah we do we, have, we have a upstairs. chocolate one upstairs so i'm yeah. thinking we're oh, a little behind because we're, we're hard behind to eat that much days. chocolate yeah it's it's Plus like we have um, other chocolate too. It's like nice dark chocolate, so it's a little strong. Anyway, I digress. Nathan Strum says, I, I, w I think it would be hilarious if the counter started going back, started up. Going back up. That would be very funny. Uh, you should do that one year. Yeah. It's like starts going down. It's like when you're waiting for the to show start. to start and suddenly it's at one minute and then it jumps back up to eight and you're like, what just happened? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That would, that's, yeah. Same thing. Um, <laughs> so from the picture and my calculations, the following... 2,600 homebrew should be coming out in this batch. Mm. Um, Avalanche's picture there. It's the second one. Mm -hmm. um, Cannonhead Clash. They seem to be in alph alphabetical order, actually. Mm. So that's the third one. Uh, Daredevil, the fourth one. Deepstone Catacomb. Um, a Hugo Hunt, which is in the third row at the front. Yeah. Uh, Ninja Guy in Low Res World. Nice. Which is the ninth one there. Nice. Uh, I'm, like, pointing... At the screen, you guys can't see. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's not much point. <laughs> um, Pit Cat as well. I he should be selling the box and manual. Nice. Um, because you can download the game for mm -hmm. free because they're not selling them because they're they're scared because uh, it's an actual game. Like code is copied from the original game, so mm -hmm. they they don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. But you might be able to buy the box and manual. Um, I don't know if it's coming out in this batch or not. Um, Panic Rooms, uh, which is pictured as well uh, in the 10th um, spot there. Robot City is there as well, mm. kind of behind the two in the bottom. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. The End, which is in the 12th one. Uh, Tower of Rubble, in the bottom there. Nice, yeah. Venture Reloaded, middle bottom. Mm. And Zookeeper, nice. the bottom right. Nice, wow. And along with the 2600 games, there's 7800, 5200 XE, and Jaguar games coming out, or already out. Adventure 2 XE is coming out, should be. Mm. Uh, Dragon's Cache 7800, which is... Uh, yeah, the Adventure one. one is number one. No, adventure, yeah. Um, Dragon's Cache is in sixth uh, yeah, spot there. Yeah, it looks a bit... Um... Jewel gamey? Yeah, or? the jewel game. We played it, remember? Oh, we did. Pay yeah. Okay, we yeah, played, played that it a while one. Back. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, Magical Fairy Force. Which oh, that was cool. I enjoyed that game. Yeah, that was good. Third row. Yeah. Um, there's game uh, a jar Jaguar game compilation called Rebooted. Okay. For the Jaguar that's already on pre-order. Okay. So it's not shipping yet, but, but it's on pre-order. It's coming. Um, Scramble for the XE, mm. which I believe is a um, possibly a port. I'm not sure. Can't remember. Uh, Last Strike uh, for Jaguar, which is on pre-order. Brawn and Brains, Jaguar pre-order. Xenon 2 for the Jaguar is already on pre-order as well. Um, so lots of games and empty wallets for everybody that mm -hmm. loves homebrew. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. um, the Concerto Cart is now available. Of course, everybody watching this knows this. Um, but they went on sale an hour after we went off the air last Friday. Mm. So I, I wasn't able to announce it. I knew about it, mm. but he didn't... For the public, that's when it went on sale, right? Okay. Um, so it is uh, currently out of stock, <laughs> but... Wow, that was quick. <laughs> well, mm, faster than you think. Yeah. Um, so what did I say here? Where's my notes about how fast? So the first batch that went on sale last Friday, um, sold out in an hour and 40 minutes, 
That was 12 of them. Then he put out a second batch of 12 late Wednesday night. That sold out in 21 minutes. So I expect the next batch, mm. if he puts out another 12, is going to sell out even faster because more people are aware of it. Um, but you can sign up for alerts through the Concerto Cart website. Um, and you could also put an email watch on the Atari Age forum thread. Uh, yes, more possibly Sunday. Yeah, he says, Atari po posted yesterday, I'm catching up on outstanding orders for the next couple of days and may be adding another batch on Sunday evening. Hopefully earlier than midnight, because he posted them on at midnight and people on the East Coast were like, Barrr. Midnight, I'm not up that late. I am putting out these together as fast as I can and at the same time working on outsourcing some of the assembly so we don't have to do this lottery system forever. Hmm. Yeah, there's no waiting list. There's no sign-up sheet. There's nothing. He posts them. You buy them. Nice. Um, so hopefully everybody can get them that they want. Um, there's a lot of people waiting for them. Um, so he posted originally, Happy Black Friday. At least it's still Black Friday. We're here in honor of the day. It's time to make some concertos available to the public. This is the pre-production special edition of Concerto available at an introductory price of $89 with free shipping to the USA. I have enough supplies for a roughly 120 of these. Mm -hmm. So he's... Well, I don't know if that includes the developer ones, but let's say there's 12 developer ones. And he's released 12 and he's released another 12. That's 36 out of 120, 120 so far. Um, ready to go as quickly as I can put them together and more will be coming in a few weeks. Mm. Hardware has been done for a while and supplies have been here for a while too. I'm continuing to improve the firmware and this will continue. So if you order now, make sure you keep up on the firmware updates, which I'm sure will be continuous, continuous, yeah. especially when it gets into the hands of the public, which are just going to throw things at it and yeah. play all the games. Break. You break, break things. Yeah. Yep. Start breaking things. Yeah. So this, uh, for people who don't know what the hell I'm talking about, this is an SD card system for the Atari 7800, mm. which has been a long time coming because it's been many, 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 many years since there's been one for sale. So um, I don't have one. And it's out of stock. <laughs> yeah, it's out of stock currently. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it should be coming on Sunday, so watch around Sunday. For some more. Yeah, for some okay. more. Nice. Um, mine is on the way. It is? So, yes, it oh, is. Oh, okay. Um, so it's not here yet. I should have checked the, the, the uh, mail <laughs> to mm -hmm. see if it's here today, but it's not here yet. Do you want to check the mail or no? No. Like right now? Yeah. <laughs> no. I have to go outside in the rain. No. Yeah. No, no, no. We won't check the mail. I know. I'm, just, I'm sure Maybe it hasn't come yet. I'm sure it hasn't come yet. It might I'll do a special come, show. It come to the door? Or? I'll do a special show if it comes. Okay. Yeah. Fair it, enough. No, it wouldn't come to the door. No? No. It's small. It's just oh, a I cartridge. Oh, that's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah. It would fit in the mailbox. Where is for sale? Mm. Is for sale. Uh, let me post the link for you concerto.atariage.com so he's made his own um subdomain for it there you go uh and uh you can check it out you can bookmark it there's actually also plugins you can get for websites that continuously ping it every once in a while every half hour yeah or maybe you want to set it to 10 minutes i don't know <laughs> that will check for changes any changes in the website do you use these a lot is this no. how you get you get uh, in on uh, sales right away um i have used them in the past yeah i'm not for surprised. specific things or if i'm waiting for something to be announced yeah this is why it's so hard to shop for for christmas <laughs> It's like I've already bought it. Yeah. I've already bought it. <laughs> like, I bought it all. I bought it the second it came out. Can you save something for me to buy for you no, for Christmas? <laughs> no. Here's a list of impossible things to find. Yeah, it's like good uh, luck. I haven't been able to find it in 20 years. Yes. You have a, a week. <laughs> um, also, uh, sure, hit Atari Age with a DDoS. <laughs> yeah. Don't do it. No. Don't do it. No. Um, <laughs> the Plus Cart store is now open as well. This was actually kind of announced on the show last friday okay by al nefer but mm. i wanted to talk a little bit more about it because i think we didn't get a chance to talk much about it um so let me post that mm. yes a 7000 flash cart which will spur a lot of development nice. um so you can get the plus cart 
directly now. You don't have to send private messages back and forth with oh, Al. Good. You can just click it here, give the money, and yep. wait for it in your mail. Yep. Um, so Take you, my money. That's right. So you can buy it in four different nice. levels okay. of assembly. Um, One you can buy with a very cool looking 3D printed cart. Which apparently is now sold out. It's been sold out for a while. So okay. I don't know when that's going to come back in. Yeah. Um, you can buy it in the standard looking <laughs> sticker format. No Xmas list. I no. have an Xmas. Actually, I didn't put no. one out this I, year. I know you didn't. And basically, <laughs> he said, I want, and I said, shut up. Don't buy it for yourself. I'm buying it for you. So mm -hmm. that's usually what happens. Yeah. I have to act actively tell him, Stop do buying things. not buy it. Yeah. I'm listening to you. Do not <laughs> buy that. So. Um, yes. so the plus card with the 3D printed cartridge is 23.50 euro. Yeah. Uh, with the standard, uh, you save three dollars and fifty cents and you can get it for 20 euros uh you can get it without a cartridge case for 16 i don't know how you say that 16 comma 50 1650 how do you say euros? 50. but it's, that could be like 1650 no 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 in, it's so in quebec it's the same they use a yeah. comma instead of uh, instead of the decimal point it's it's point it's like a decimal point yes yeah. so they it's say 1650 or did they say nothing they did don't they, they don't say comma they don't I say point i can't remember oh, okay. right now it's been a little while since i've taken okay. french so but who knows but it's 16 comma 50 yeah um it's 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 1650 um so you can get it without <laughs> the case if you have your own cases a lot yeah. of people have cases um so you can save a little bit more and if you're handy with a soldering iron you can get it for a lot cheaper nine almost just under 10 euros hmm. um you can have it oh, totally disassembled uh but that's sold out so <laughs> yeah apparently they've assembled all of them mm. um and th so but that that's recently just sold out i remember that that wasn't sold out but you can keep checking this site if you want a really inexpensive um, sd based um uh, multi-cart mm. so this is a, a very good alternative for that oh sorry it's not sd based this is uh, the plus cart, which goes on the internet and has all the. I wasn't. I was thinking of something else. Yeah, this one connects to the internet, which has yes, a yes, lot yes, of bonuses. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Um, We've with, been playing with that a lot. Yeah, yeah. it has yeah. its Wi-Fi. Sorry. It has the high scores. Yeah. It has all the homebrew built into it. Yes. Stored elsewhere. It's so cool. And you can actually download it, store it locally, and not be connected to the internet. I just really hope they get remote, like, playing working. I don't yes. know if that's possible. I don't know if that'll ever ever get sorted out. Oh, it will. Well, I don't know, but it yeah. was just so cool. Like, when you and Darcy were playing, and, Remotely. like, things were just, just spinning around, I thought that was yeah. hilarious. So if you and your friend have both have one... But the you concept can... alone is just yeah. mind-blowing. Like, I hope they... They, that yeah. that kind of can get figured out on some you can level. play combat for about two seconds no in you sync. can't even because it, it it gets out of sync so two quickly seconds. it's so <laughs> funny looking yeah. though yeah so you turn it's and so they see you turn looking. yeah um uh, actually there's some pretty good competition already i have to say the card has been a lot of fun yes ramirez yes. is a very good player yes yes so you yes, can yes. you can see your high scores go on the chart but that's pretty fun cool. and that's cool just even that like uploading the high scores so my so. computer doesn't connect to the internet either only my bro broadband modem, modem. Does. nice hmm. um so that's a really cool thing as well so they're both available the plus cart and the concerto so lots of cool things coming out lots of things to buy the atari age store on sunday mm -hmm. so ouch my wallet <laughs> <laughs> yes. yeah yes. so let's get to the games Yay. uh the first game tonight is galagon yeah oh it's been a while but galagon you really can't go wrong while. with yeah. galagon um both wearing our Galaga Galagon shirts. Mm -hmm. And here is the Galagon in uh, the box. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Shiny? The there box is beautiful too. It is. It's like the really art is well just done. really gorgeous. And this by made by Dave Dries. Dave Dries. Dries? Dries? Oh mm -hmm. Don't know. <laughs> I need to hear it. Galagon, set out. take me away. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, um, incredibly made game. 
It is a fun game. Um, made by uh, John Champo of Champ Games. Uh, Nathan Strum did the graphics and uh, design of the game. And uh. Ross Keenum did the music and sound, and mm -hmm. all of them are outstanding. Mm -hmm. So let's get that going. Yeah. Well, when hey. I announce. Are we playing uh, two player? Um, no. Oh, so you haven't put the screws in yet, eh? They didn't fit. Oh, no! Yeah, I went We're to the hardware store. We're still trying to work out solutions for this popping out oh, I just need time. to buy the right screws. But we went yeah. to the hardware store, and I found some screws that were similar size, mm -hmm. but just don't bother playing with it. It's not going to help. You tried gluing it, didn't you? Uh, There's, like, residue there. I don't think I tried gluing it. Super I think, gluing? I think it, it was super had glued? glue there. Oh, and you took it off. I think it came off, so I could try it again. You could try super gluing it yeah. again. It's not a bad idea, um, actually. When I uh, announced this, that we're going to play it tonight, uh, John Champo said, uh, Champ Games is very honored that you have chosen Galagon <laughs> as one of your favorite shooters. Yeah. <laughs> your reaction during the Galaga reveal on Zero Page Homebrew in May 2019 is still a priceless moment. <laughs> and uh, there I am. Uh. That's my reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Because I didn't know <gasps> yeah. that it was Galaga. And you it, that's it was his a secret game. Favorite game. It's what yeah. It's, it's up there. It's, it's up there. way up there. Yeah. I've played it so much. I'm not great at it, <laughs> but I love playing it. And and it was something that I've always said that was impossible to make on like everybody said it's impossible to make on the twenty six hundred. Just mm. impossible. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it I was able to reveal it to the world <laughs> that it exists yeah. and, and Champ Games made it. So <laughs> I thought that was really funny. There we go. Um, so uh, let's uh, get to it. Pop it in and play some. Stop fiddling with it. No, it's, it's like... There's nothing wrong with no, it. No, it's not, it's not seated. That's all. I was moving it. Gonna make it it's worse and worse good. and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Enough, enough. It's, it's all good. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> so this was first posted May fifteenth, two thousand nineteen, mm -hmm. and this build is from October seventh, two thousand nineteen. This is, I'm pretty sure, the final build of it. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna pop it out of the box. Make sure the volume's good. Yeah. What did I pick? I don't even know what I picked. What now. did you? Well. It's okay. We're not both playing it, so. There you go. Standard, advanced, challenge mode. So it's got a lot of bonuses over the standard Galaga. It's got the two-player simultaneous. It's got the challenge mode, which we should try. It's very hard to the challenge mode. It's super, super hard. Still waiting for Knight Rider 2600. Yeah, that was like an incredibly long thread of it. And everybody's really joking about it. It's like, oh, when's it coming out? When's it coming out? It was never even started, really. And the sign of a good port mm -hmm. is that you can play the port and then actually get better at the arcade because you're playing the port. Mm -hmm. And I found that is completely valid with the first two games that we're going to be playing today. So with um, Galagon and also Draconian, which is a port of Bosco. Now, I played this game so much in the arcade. Um, I, d the, I don't think I played the NES version back when it first came out. I know I played the NES version of it later. Um, and there was a a terrible port for the Commodore 64 that I had. It was all made with the built-in Petsky characters. Good job. Um, you know those Petsky characters? Yeah. Where they're like symbols and stuff, and it was all made with that. I mean, good job making it with just those things. Yeah, you do get more points when they're flying. I know. <laughs> I also don't like dying, so, you know. Uh, yeah. Ah, like that! Oh, Distracting me. You? Yes, you did. I blame you. You have the cart, and you aren't even playing it? Note to self. Have Albert Jet send them James empty boxes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. It, you know why I don't open them? Did I die? 
apparently. Right. Player two? Well, it looks like How you did chose I even two player. How did I even play? Oh, it's it's going back and forth. Do you want to play? Do you want to play uh, player three? Uh, yeah, sure. Here. Ah, ah, it's ah. starting. It's starting. We're good. Okay. I'm getting more wine, which probably isn't a good idea. But... What level did you set this to? Standard? Okay. Oh, I like the cartridges. The reason I don't open the packages too much is because I have the ROMs and they're exactly the same as the cartridge version. Um, and number two, uh, the boxes get worn every time, more and more worn, every time you open them. Like the flap, uh, the flap that you have to open gets bent every time. And I like keeping things in very good condition. Just to have them in good condition, I don't picture myself ever selling any of these things. Mint in box. Uh, well, the, none of the things I have are mint in box, because I have opened all of them. Ah! Hey! I always find them so hard when they're tumbling. Oh, good job! They are. This is... Harder. It's harder than the arcade. We it figured that out. Much harder than the arcade to get your shit back. Yeah. Because of the spin that uh, John Chapo programmed into it, which I did complain about, him, but he didn't. Uh, he didn't see the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Just buy two of each. One to play, one to collect. Yeah, that sounds expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to donate. As Ramirez, mine are all bent flat box. Oh. Uh, and then Ground Trooper says, use a butter knife and slide it under the flap and lift it so the knife is lifting the entire flap. Ah, mm. <laughs> uh, yes. More mm. boxes. I mean, another way is... To, oh, I missed it. Did you? Is oh, to one? Not, oh, no. To not assemble the boxes. Yeah. And just keep the boxes flat and keep them ever everything separate and package the cartridges separately. Ground trooper, there are ways, there are ways. <laughs> to open it and not destroy the flap. There are, it's difficult. Well, I mean, frequently, once it's out of the box, you never put it back in anyway, so it's just getting the box open well, without yeah. destroying the box. But, yeah. I can't remember if Al ships, sometimes Al ships them flat mm. and sometimes he ships them assembled. I can't remember. Maybe you always ship them flat. And it's just, I'm remembering from PRGE, buying them assembled. Someone is saying the bottom of the game is cut off in stream, but oh, we're not is. seeing that. It is. Is no, it? No, oh, it is. It. It's because it's a very tall game. I'll well, have to fix that. Fix I have that. A... He'll, he'll fix that the next time I'm uh, playing. Yeah, I've got a setting for that. Mm. It's because it's, I want to keep the, um, the pixel ratio mm. nice. Mm. Um, so I don't want to squish it, mm. um, but it's very, very tall. Oh, this game, yeah. Yeah, it's a very tall game because he wants to have as much vertical um, room as possible for this. Yeah, you can see James is kicking my butt, so... <laughs> <laughs> I haven't died yet. Oh, you but like now I will. <laughs> as I said it. I do like it enough. If I get over a hundred thousand, I consider it a, a decent run mm. at the game. That's Fuck for it's, me. I was trying to figure out what the dots at the bottom were. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is cut off. It's the, 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 uh, the level and the number of lives he has. So. Yeah. Thank you for pointing that out, everyone. Ah, so we can fix it. No! Oh, those are so hard. You have to get them right away. You do. Oh. Not a great Still run. Good. It was Sorry. okay. Missed four. Mm. The three dots are your ship. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of see it. Mm -hmm. But you can't see what level I'm on. No. It's too hard to make out from a dot. Here 
Yep, yeah, yeah, I knew it. No. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. He's not paying attention. Oops. Oh! <sighs> Missed the bonus. Oh, there's a bonus, Atari. Hello! Hi, Atari. Come on yeah. in. Hey, little gray cat. Yeah, there we go. He also really likes Calico. He loves it. Have a seat. Have a seat. There we go. Did you ever play this game when you were young? Me? Were you aware of this game? I was aware of this game for sure. Oh no, it's hard. Die. It's hard. It is harder than the arcade. We have we have one hundred percent figured that out. <laughs> yes. Um. I oh. do remember what? playing it. I don't two know. Two times on a level? Is that the was thing? It two times, or was that the last level? No, I just killed my ship on this level. Oh, you're right. Maybe it is a thing. I don't know. I'd never have done that before. Hmm. Oh. Get captured twice. But, yep. Eh. Come here. Come here. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Gonna come in my lap? Yeah, come in my lap. You can be the pillow. Ah. <laughs> Cat pillow? Yeah. Oh, oh no, no. Not good enough. No. <gasps> good job. Mm, one more. <gasps> no! <laughs> How to waste two lives. Oh, no! How to waste two lives on one level. Oh, sadness. <sighs> I mean, at least it's easier to dodge. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to find a bright side. There isn't really. You've lost, like, two ships in... <laughs> in short amount of time. In one life. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, oh, my God. Okay. Now I'll fix. Go. I'll fix it for everyone so you can all see it properly. Letting me know. It isn't Atari. So many things on the screen, the collision check routine would have to be insane. Pretty well. Terrible. It would. It would have to check. Luckily, your ship is only at the bottom. So it would only have to check things in the range of your ship. Um, which would include a lot of missiles and all the enemies as well. But you don't have to check the whole screen. You just have to check. Well, I guess that applies any time. It's like you would just go down the list of everything that's on the screen and say, what is the Y coordinate of that thing? And is it greater than your ship? Uh, I'm just guessing right now. And then, once you identify it, then you'd have to check the X coordinate and whether they fall on top of each other inside oh. the hitbox. Might be the greatest homebrew for the 2600. Mm. It is up there for. It is. Oh. That was terrible and quick. So I didn't <laughs> oh, achieve 100. Over. Didn't achieve 100,000. The Xevious Par from 7800 is also a thing of beauty. Yes, it is. It is. Unbelievable. <laughs> that get records on the, the Oh, like, does it? It was a terrible score. But it does record on there. But I, I wouldn't bother counting any score that's below a hundred thousand. Oh. Oh, terrible, that was terrible. Zero. Ooh. You should too play should play co op mode. Do you want us to play the co op mode? Okay, we'll play co op. And yell at each other for messing up because you block each other. Oh, I don't think I was meant to do that. You can still, you can still get captured, I think, or maybe not. Maybe we'll see. I think the first guy has to go back around. Yeah, the no top. one did. Oh, there, there you go. We go. Or maybe it's just the first guy has to launch himself. That's the minimum. Yeah, the first has guy to. has to launch, and yeah. then after that, it will, it will do the thing. It will suck you up. You can ask John about it when he does a guest spotlight here in two weeks. Yes. John Champeau of Champ Games is oh, is going to be here on the 18th uh, in the flesh, in live on the show. No. Not in the flesh, but remotely in the flesh. Um, and he'll be ac answering your questions uh, about all of his games, including Galagon. So what did VHC... Said CS. With so many things on the screen, the collision routine. Oh, okay. Asking about collision. 
That's a very, very good question about how he does his collision routines. Because uh, the 2600 has built-in uh, collision detection. Actually, perfect built-in collision detection. <sighs> Pixel perfect, which is also good and bad, because if your, your pixel is in the middle of the enemy pixel, and then the next frame it's not in the middle, you actually did collide. Um, I'm going to have to unplug the Atari box. Okay, fair enough. Uh-huh. Yeah. Come here. There we go. But when you're doing <laughs> games like this where there's flicker, an intelligent flicker... Yes. If the enemy and you are on top of each other, but one of you is invisible on that frame, you, because it's you flickering, can, you can get away with it? the hardware collision won't detect it. Uh -huh. mm. So that means you have to turn to software collision detection and do, like, X, Y, does that located in the same area? Mm. Okay, you're controlling the start. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh. My uh, bad. Sorry. You can restart it. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. How do we start when we're both on the screen? I think it's easy. Do you want to start on the easy? Novice? Yeah. Because then we start both on the screen. Yeah. I, like I believe. That. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. There we are. Hi, Nathan Strand. Or not. What? Oh, no. You... Two-player co-op? Are we you not have a double? Did this change? Do we have some old weird version? Where... <laughs> Maybe. I'm only playing. What's going on? Something weird's going on there. Oh, two player co op. Yeah. Yeah. And then novice, standard. Just start standard. We'll try standard. Okay. Even if I have to bring you in. Yeah. I have to get sucked up we then. We do have an old version. Oh, no. Maybe playing. we do. I just need to get sucked up, right? And then it's your turn. Yeah. Can't wait to see Arcade Gorf. Yes, two weeks. Two weeks, Arcade Gorf. We will be premiering it with uh, John Shampo on the show. And I believe it will be the last game we play on the day. <laughs> so you have to sit through the whole thing. <laughs> That's how the it works. The four-hour show. Um, what time is that at? Is that a new thing, Sean? Oh. Yep, it's an evening show. So uh, get your coffee ready and have a good sleep the night before. <laughs> <laughs> well, your last move was getting all three of those things takes all us in that. That, that those, those little scorpions. Oh, yes. Now you should be playing. No! What? Oh, What's going you know on? why? I know why. Oh. Because it detects your joysticks when you start oh, up. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so start okay. it. Because it's very, very, very smart program. So watch when it starts. Quadtari found, which it didn't. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, don't let him spread out. Because he will immediately. Okay, He's now go to spreader, go to simple. One. Go to easy mode. Novice. Now it should work. Okay. Did you see, it went down to one ship. Did it work? Nope. Nope. It's still two it's of me. It's thinking I have a quad er... What is going on? Maybe it's an old version. Yep. Mm. open this up. I think he might. Ooh, he's opening the packaging. You have to display it for everyone to see. I'll no, you've opened it. This. You've opened it before. Oh, I have. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I opened it when I got it. No! <laughs> this one is perfect. And I opened it perfectly again. So... This one's not bent. I feel like you're you're rubbing that in uh, Esther Ramirez's face. Though. Why did he bend his? I think well, someone or, or someone was mentioning that. I think it was Esther Ramirez. That he bent No, his? or yeah, someone. 
apologize for not remembering. See, now I can't push this back in. It's so annoying. Okay, put that on display there. Yeah, see? No. <laughs> Nate, you forced my hand. <laughs> now I have to put it in. Quatari is not found. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Weird, weird. What's because going the on? Because the Quadtari was, would put both joysticks in the first spot. Why do you have... Do, it, there's no Quadtari there, though. No, there isn't. So what is it confusing with a Quadtari? Try holding down the button. I don't know why it's confusing it's saying... Thinking that there's a Quadtari. Now you have to label it as played by Z Z Zero Patron Brew when you scalp it. <laughs> That's right, it's a selling point. Look at that. <laughs> it says Quad Tari the whole time. I'm just going to unplug everything. Okay, just stop and we'll try it again and see if that still causes... There we go. Oh, it's working now? Well, it didn't say Quad Tari. So. What, but what did you unplug? Both joysticks. Really? The, I didn't plug the first joystick. That's bizarre, but you don't have a Quad Tari in there. No, nobody does. <laughs> Oops, oh. I always do that, sorry. Yeah, there. Okay. Novice? Yep. There we go. Layer one and two! That's very, very Excellent. weird. That's very weird. Yeah, there. this is this is the game. Well, I'll tell John about that. <laughs> I don't know what's what it's finding that thinks it's the quad Tari's button. Oh, this button. We're definitely not going for score here. <laughs> it's just fun to... Ah! You did that. I did that? You could have moved to the left. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to move to the right. Oh, now I have to bring you back. Yes, you do. <laughs> oh, it's your turn. It's your playing. You're playing. Co-op. I forgot that's how it works. Yeah. My apologies. I was drinking oh. wine. <laughs> the wrong. Uh, I'm playing them. You're pl oh. You stuff oh, yeah, to listen to the beeps. It goes back and forth. Oh, it's so confusing. Oh. Yours? Oh my God! You almost got it. No, 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 no! I saw it. You have to let one of those uh, Galagas come down. Go. I will. I don't think it'll. Uh, oh. Work now. It killed two. Yeah, so somebody oh, shot the other one. I didn't Oops, realize that. No. And now you shot that one. Go! Ah! Yeah, the, it's, it is hard to pay attention and... Oh my god, I'm doing terrible at this. It is so funny, the going back and forth. <laughs> it it is. is so, so funny. Because you, you have to wake up the other player if they're not paying yeah. attention. It requires more attention than the average... Um, oh! the average teenager requires mm. right now. So. <laughs> That's right. Can't check your phone playing this game. No. Oh, oh great. One ship for challenging stage. Okay. Yours. Expect you to ah, all of them. No! Fail. My son and I had a lot of fun testing. <laughs> yeah. Keeps you on your toes. It certainly does. We need both ships back. I know. I was Move. hitting. I was moving. Lies. I was moving. Don't wreck the joystick. I was don't. moving. I was shooting and I was moving. Okay, now don't shoot all the Galagas. Not to get killed. <laughs> oh, oh. Get him, get him. Nope. Ah. Your turn. Got two of them. Oh. Here it comes. <laughs> Did you press up? I, you know I what? I saw you press up. <laughs> I didn't press up. No? No, no, no. There's no up in Galaga. No. It's a two-way joystick. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
hasn't switched to me yet. Because huh. no you're up there. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Back in the, oh, we can pass by Oh, each we other? can pass through. Oh, oh, that's good. Was that... I don't remember that being there last time. Hmm. The problem is you, is you get confused on who's on what side, and it's like, yeah. I think that's me, and you're like, oops, sorry. Very dangerous. It is dangerous. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Totally pressed up. Great offender says you pressed up. I did not. <laughs> Lies. Oh. She pressed up to go to the Gallagher. I did not. <laughs> it's like, go up, up, get in there. Do not spread these rumors. <laughs> oh yeah, I have nothing left, so I think it's all. Oh, it'll switch one. to you. Go, go, go! It's your turn. Ah, it's your turn. No, no, no! I thought I was dead. I didn't think I had any lives left. Ah! I'm enjoying your videos as always, Great Offender. <laughs> Thank you for continuing to post them. Mm. Um, okay, we're gonna move on to the next one. Okay. I could play this all night, so oh, of course. it's such so a good game. So I will reassemble this later, carefully. We're going to move on to Draconian, mm. which is, oh my god. I don't know. My, it's hard to say which is my favorite, but this is way up there. Drinking your wine. Mm-hmm. Um, I played this a lot in the arcade. Um, I don't think this uses the Atari box, so we'll just leave it. And there's no two-player. Mm. Um, I will we'll let you some... play first. You want me to play first? I like this game a lot too, actually. This is this game is has a is a nice long play game. Like you, it's fairly it's long. I would put it on hard. hard. I would put it on hard because it takes a long time to play. This is really fun in the arcade. I am, however, oh, yeah. awaiting um, my other fa very... What, what is going on here? Why am I going not up and down? Can you not go up? What is... I'm not going up now. What because is going on? It's because you've been fiddling. Oh. That's probably Can why... I reset? That's probably why I was detecting Quad Tari, because it was constantly pressing up. I mean, it shouldn't be, but I, I think there's something wrong with this button. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's... let's reset that. Okay, that might make sense. So, I'm not going to complain to John Shampoo. <laughs> the, it's not my fault. She's been fiddling no! with it. No! I have not been fiddling with it. <laughs> In fact, there is absolutely no proof that James didn't screw it all up beforehand, so... Um... VHC says, uh, I have to say I like Draconian even more than Galagon. This is an incredible accomplishment. Oh gosh, of... this, this, I don't think I've played hard before. <laughs> this is really hard. <laughs> There's so many of them. Like, they start attacking you like immediately. It's like Condition Red all the time. It is. <laughs> Holy smokes. I haven't played it on hard before. No? No. It's, uh, it's, not, it's not Condition Red, but it's close. It is close. Because Condition on. Red oh. is like everything's flocking towards you at all times. It is pretty close to Condition Red. Like, instantaneously they're going after you. Um, everything about this is incredible. It's got the um, colorful star field in behind. My goodness. It's got all the uh, enemies. How it's got get away from these guys? It's got ah! the... <laughs> it's got what the, is going on? It's got the full voices. Um... While game is being played without the Atari Vox, it is an amazing technical feat. It is. Such a great game. Yeah. Unbelievable. Such a good game. And it's probably one of the best ports of the game. Like, you look at the. If you've ever seen one of those comparison ah, videos terrible. with all the different um, ports of um, Bosconian. Mm. A lot of them have a really small window, which you play in. Like, they've reduced the graphics because the resolution isn't very good on a lot of the systems. 
especially on the C64. And you like almost crash into things immediately because of it. There's only one small difference that doesn't make much of a difference between the arcade and this version. In the arcade version, the ships kind of rush in and then stop. They go Phew, and then s slow down a bit. Um, but in practicality, that doesn't make much of a difference. Um, and playing this at home, like I said, for uh, Galagon, has actually made me a better Bosconian player mm. in the arcade. Look at these guys. Look at them! Uh, no, it is not using the Atari Vox for voices. I actually have it unplugged. <gasps> it is using samples. And luckily, the samples wow, in the arcade... The samples in the arcade are very low resolution, so it ports over very well. Yeah. Um, so let's start over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can continue this game, which which yeah. is in the arcade you you do the same. Yeah. So yeah. So if you wanted to experience all of the different levels, um, you can. Your cold nose is against my hand. <laughs> oh, Atari is just so he just wants his love. he wants his nose warmed up. And being able to have the radar in the bottom as well is just incredible that mm -hmm. the, all these things that are going on in this game are able to happen Yeah. In this ancient 1977 system. Your cold nose is constantly pressed up against my hand. Ah, <laughs> kittens. Oh, buddy. Come He's here. got his paw on me. He, so he, he literally has his paw across James's wrist right now. He is so, oh, so no, sweet no. right now. He's you a are sweet so. Cat. He is. He he truly is one of the sweetest cats I've ever met. So. Yeah. Like like hands down. Luckily, we get to hang out with him. Yeah. Yeah, sweetie cat. Yeah, good kitty. Well, that whole clump of ships just flew right into the. Right into the. Uh, the, the station. The asteroid. Oh, funny. Like, okay. That's what you want to do. Nice. Oh, one more. Yeah, and they're a little bit faster than you, so you have to shoot them. Yes. You can't just avoid them. Esther Ramirez, I have to admit, I like this more than its arcade counterpart. The arcade, really? the arcade version is pretty good too. Oh yeah. But this this plays like the arcade. Like, like it really does. We have an exactly. arcade which we haven't been to. It's so ah, sad. I know red. exactly. No, it's, it's crazy. Red. It's crazy. Oh. Um. And they had they had Bosconian. Oh, I hope they still. They have, have it. my favorite game. Um, Satan's Hollow. Satan's Hollow, uh, and I I hope I'm still on the the, the leaderboard there for oh, that sure one. Um, I think you're ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh yeah, I'm first. Yeah. I'm in first place. Not that there's anybody has put up amazing scores. No, no. Because I wouldn't be in first place. Um, <laughs> Oh yeah, this did is. They the... have I don't think they did. They have Galaga there. Oh, I think they had Galaga sure there did. too. Yeah, so they have a great selection of older arcade games. Um, I think I'm getting a little tight now. <laughs> Bosconian or I want to go Solo. to the arcade. Yeah, oh. Satan's Hollow too. I haven't played Satan's Hollow in a while. We have it uh, for the PS2. Do we? Yep. Yeah. Mm. It's not the same. No. <laughs> no. I played it on the Commodore 64. Yeah. Oh, and it's quite good for the so C64. we were at the Port Portland Retro Gaming Expo, and we had actually run into John Champo. Yep. And was it he who said, "Oh, or you? No, you yeah. possibly said, oh, have you played this game before?'" And I looked at it and I said, "Oh no," because I just saw the name Satan's Hollow, and James started playing it, and I looked over, and you started playing it, I think. Yeah. And I was like, oh no, I know this game. <laughs> I had it on my Commodore 64 and I played it. God damn it. Continuously. Yeah. And it was like, I never, I didn't, until you started playing it, the flags and the castle and all the, the, music. the crazy vampire bats or whatever it is that come <laughs> down and attack you yeah, and all the cool. devils and everything. Oh, that was terrible. And then the devil head. And I was like, oh my God, I had this game. I'm pretty sure I had it on disc. Um, it was pirated from some BBS that from a guy my dad knew. Like we didn't have the original, and uh, I played it oh, tons and tons and tons. Nobody bought C64. No, games. no one bought C64 <laughs> games. That's not how it worked back then. First time I played this was probably in the early 2000s on the original TV games, Pac-Man Plug and Play. Never saw in the arcades back then. 
Oh, you're talking about Bosconian? Or, yeah, Bosconian? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it was super popular. Um, I remember playing it on um, a ferry that goes across to Vancouver Island. That's why. Again. Doesn't fall out for me. Uh, no, it falls out for you, too. Don't force it. It's upside down. No point. <laughs> I will glue it, I guess. You need to glue it. It's terrible. Spiceware should make a 2600 version of Sinistar. There was a prototype of Sinistar, which was... It's a hard game to make. Um, I think... I mean, you could maybe change this game into Sinistar. Lucky. Did you finish the first level? Um, no. Yeah, I got the first Did level. You? Yeah, okay. but not much. From, <laughs> not past the second. Sinistar is not easy. There's a lot going on on the screen, but I think it would be. Oh. Did I die? Oh. Yeah. A little I notice it. Shrapnel <laughs> got you. Shrapnel. Fifty two hundred version of Sinistar is very good. Did I buy? 5200 version of Sinister. I can't remember. I bought the 5200 version of Satan's Hollow, mm. which is a port of the XE version of Satan's Hollow, I believe. No, I don't think I bought Sinistar for the 5200. Battle stations. Yep, yellow alert. Not red yet, but... Red is insan insanity. Ooh. It is. Got On really this close. level, that's for sure. You got really close. Yeah. Yeah, Spiceware definitely should make a 2600 version of Sinistar using this engine. Or a, a souped-up version of this engine. Ah, oh. come on! So I believe this is using CDF. Mm. I mean, it's got the voices in this as well. So you could... Because uh, Sinistar has voices, too. Ah! I can't get it lined up! Come on! <laughs> How the hell in the blue hell did they manage to get passable speech synthesi synthesis on a 2600? That's nothing short of a miracle. That is for sure. I supposed to did the... Um, did the voices on this. And it what? was an incredible accomplishment. Um... Mike Haas. Michael Haas. Um, Nathan Strum did the graphics, level design, and packaging. Uh, Chris Walton did additional programming, and Daryl Spice Jr. did the programming. We last played this uh, August 23rd, 2018. Um, I'm sure we played it as, as a thing, as part of something else since then. Yeah, they're just really, really well-compressed samples. Um... And to be able to play samples on the 2600 in any kind of fidelity, you ran into a little shrapnel. You have to. You have to line yourself up, yeah. and then you can go right through them. But, but in this hardness, it's it hard to do that. It doesn't let you because no. there's shrapnels. No, yeah, that's true. It sends out little bullets. Ah, those little bullets. Yeah. Murderous. On the 2600 Murderous. to play sa samples at this fide fidelity, you have to uh, hit the audio almost every line while you're drawing and there's not a lot of time to do that oh, good times, though. i'll continue <laughs> i'll continue from this level i like the easy version <laughs> <laughs> yes you can just fly yeah. through that level boom 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 boom. yeah rom space this is a 32k game so it doesn't it doesn't use mm. up a ton of rom space so it's amazing that you have this game plus all the samples in it as well mm. in 32k Very good uh, compression going on. Oh, oh, one more. A key to this game is like small little shifts. Yeah, it's true. You have to jump back and forth. Because yeah. the ships that are chasing you don't oh. chase you directly. They chase you at just off a bit. Except for the orange one goes directly for you. Uh. That one does. Uh, I, I do find that... um. Yeah, the hard level, so much is coming at you, you do have to adjust your, 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 yourself a lot more yeah. than, than the easy level. 
alert, alert. <laughs> oh. Or the orange or the pink or whatever it is. The uh, tracker ship. There's always a tracker the spy ship. Sh spy ship. The spy ship and yellow. then the rest. Um, not the spy ship. When they're in a grouping, there's one that's colored. And if you oh. kill it, they all spread out. They oh, all just kind okay. of yeah. freak out and run away. Like the head ship. The head ship, know. yeah. The lead ship. The lead ship. Red leader. Red leader. <laughs> Red leader. Um, you have to get that guy. Mm. If he goes off the screen, it goes to condition red. And on mm. this level, it's over. It's done. See, You're I haven't done. been paying attention to that, but I probably should be. What? Condition red? I know, I don't. Yeah. Because all there is is just They constant. move faster than you, too, which is insane. Just... Yeah, the hard is hard. It, it really is. Like, it's, it's way easier on the regular level. Oh, yeah. If you want to train <laughs> yeah. for the arcade, yeah. play it on this level. Or if you want to tra train for condition red. Oh. Um, so that you can actually survive it. Come back here. Mm -hmm. But it, condition red is also a time thing. Like, if mm. you stay on a level too long, it'll just go to condition red. Yeah, and you maybe you hit the max? I don't know. Maybe yeah, it goes just... to the max really quickly on uh, hard? It probably does. I, I would think so, because last time you weren't playing very long, and suddenly it hit condition red, and I don't think that was because of a yellow ship. I think it, it was because well, it hit a timeout point. Battle stations. It could be either, because if the yellow ship the spy ship comes just barely on the screen and then goes off again yeah you're screwed it's condition red yeah <laughs> even if you didn't know that it happened you uh-oh kicked me out and brought me back in oh i didn't lose anything though our wi-fi maybe mm -hmm. our uh, oh, stream's still weird. going good so yeah no just something funny happened there oh and another tidbit of information i have a level in this game because there was a contest. Oh yeah, that's right. When yeah, this yeah, was yeah. put out, a level designing contest. Nice. And uh, he chose my level, which was very, very nice. I mean, there's a bunch of levels. Um, probably some people in the chat have some of their levels. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh my god. Finally. I can't remember what my level is, but it's, um, it's one of the uh, alpha levels. It's, oh, on level E. No, 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 no. And he can fly faster than you. So the spy ship. So it will get away. And I got a little trophy for designing a level. Whoa, 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 whoa. challenge put it on hard mode in this game the arcade will seem like a breeze <laughs> oh orange yeah That's... no 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 i love this game it's <laughs> such a good shooter oh my god it's such a good shooter yep. there's so much action going on mm -hmm. there's so much variety of mm -hmm. what's happening on the screen like it's not just you and ships it's just crazy there's so much happening yeah and there's things to watch out for and there's different ways to destroy the enemy bases but yep. really you only want to do it one way because mm -hmm. you don't have much time before it goes to condition red it goes crazy Get him, get him, get him. Good job. There we go. One more. You have to be careful, because if you drift into that thing as it explodes, you die too, so... Uh, not at the base, I don't think. No, it does. Really? I'm pretty sure that killed me once. Woo! Good job! Is a level a is even better than a patch. A level? Yeah. Oh, having a level in the yeah. game. Yeah. Oh, yes. It's amazing, because it's forever, right? It's like you're you're part of the game. You contributed to it in some small way. Come on, come on. There we go. Then, like, some of these levels... Oh, God. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Some of these levels, they put the bases so compact close together that it's 
you have to kind of slowly dig your way into it. Oh, my God. My ship. There we go. Uh. When the spy ships come, and then you're diverted away from your main mission. This is really good training. I don't think I've ever played this game for any length of time on this hard level. Really a challenge. Keeps you on your toes. Really good training. Oh, I've warped around. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, there's two in a row there. Damn. You have to clear, kind of clear out the area if you want to have any s chance of... Oh, oh my god, I almost died. There we go. MCP90, I just noticed that most of the sprites use sea cam like colors. Bright colors are part of the charm of this work of art. Yes, and the green. There's something about those yes. intensely Kelly green <laughs> um, space stations. Um, they look like gigantic clovers or something, but yeah, it's very, it's very sharp and bright colors, really which is nice really colors. beautiful. Yeah. Somebody was talking about the colors on the Commodore 64 somewhere. It might have been. Oh, the cyan. Did well, anyone really know the term hostile. cyan until the Commodore 64 nope. occurred? Um, then you really know it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. But um, somebody was cyan. just talking about the different palettes. Oh, yes, it was on a 7800. Oh, that's why they're all coming after me. <sighs> it's condition red. Condition the palettes on 7800 versus C64. Mm. People are like, oh, it's so washed out and mm. pastel -y on the C64. But 2600 colors, I love them. They're so mm. bright and colorful. Yeah, and just I think like, you're right. Yeah. Green is green, red is red, black Sharp is black, white is... Primary white. kind of yeah. feeling colors, yeah. Immortalized. Yes. When I switched to see cam light colors on Shadow Reflex and made a, a bad game and somewhat decent looking. Yeah. Yep. Um, so we're going to switch to the third game mm. now. Cyan. Cyan, which is, uh, what did I put for the third game? Uh, Juno first. Yay. So if you want to load that up. Sure. Already forgotten. Juno, Juno first, first is. is another arcade game. Safe key card not found. <laughs> nope, so let's uh, restart it with the safe key and the Atari box, because this actually uses Atari box to talk. Actually, before we do this, let's take a look at the poll, which is overwhelmingly. Uh, number three. <laughs> yeah. It's not closed yet, but it's not going to change that much. Yeah. So, uh, number one, I'm glad scalpers are there, 5.9%. Uh, number two, I would have been able to buy it at the original price if scalpers didn't buy them all, 17%. <laughs> Number three, what can you do? It's not illegal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and number four, it should be banned. <laughs> Track all the games and delist anyone selling game 5.9%. Well, a few people went for the last one. Yeah. Yeah. So, but most people are like, it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. Agreed. Put it out. Yep. And really it is. Like, you can't mm -hmm. do anything about it. Found. This is CDW's game. Oh yeah, I know this game. <laughs> so this is CD-W's oh, game. Oh, such a good game. Um, we also made Boom, which I hope he finishes. Um, Cheddary, which I'm pronouncing yeah. wrong. Ah, Hunchy, ah, ah. Hunchy 2. Jetman. Lumens, Knight Rider, Star Castle Arcade, and the new Zevias. Wave two. Wave two. Oh. I don't remember the Atari box working when, when I played it last. Well, maybe we didn't have it plugged in. 
Was this one of the games where the Atari box runs into issues? No, and that's stops all, working. Which one was Wizard that? Wizard of War. Oh, Wizard of War. It, it works and then it doesn't. Then it stops. Yeah. No, that, I think that was the only one. There might have been another one, but Wizard of War really stresses it out. <gasps> oh, get that no. guy! Don't let him oh. off the screen. Ah. And he's gone. Oh no! Oh, you let him die. No. On, on the surface of this inhospitable planet. I forget. Planet. I forget how um, sensitive the uh, scrolling is sometimes. Oh, it's so good. Am I green? I don't know. Are you green? Carl G says, I love this one. A good port of the arcade version. Oh, oh it's, it's so good. So good. So, so much fun, and this the, game. And the great thing about all the games we've played so far are they're all high action games. Like, yeah. there's so many bullets, so many enemies. Lots to, to keep track of. Lots to keep track of. There's You have to rescue guys on this level. Um, there are power-ups where you... Um, they don't shoot at you, mm -hmm. but you're still you're not invincible, which I thought at first it was when I first played it. You can still crash into them. It's when you rescue the guy, and, or what is it? I think it's when you rescue the guy, then you're invincible for a little bit. <gasps> ah, you're or not they invincible. Stop, not invincible. They stop shooting. Yeah, yeah they stop shooting, and then <laughs> you, you died die. instantly. I died instantly. Unfortunately. So really, the key in this game is to watch the top and kind of time your shots as they come towards you so that you can clear them out if there are patterns like this one's a lot more scattered but on a lot there of them patterns. there's patterns that you can just go do, 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 and clear them out super fast. i love that uh, there you go oh careful hyper space now you can shoot with shoot, shoot with them <laughs> Oh, and now it's, it's over. It doesn't it's last quite very short. long. Yeah. Hyperspace. MCP90. Yeah, it's great. The original arcade machine was sadly underappreciated. I have never seen um, Juno first arcade game ever. Or in the arcade? Yeah. I don't think I have. I don't think we saw it at uh, Port PRG Who has either. seen a Juno first arcade game? I'm yeah. wondering in, in the it's people watching. It's fairly rare. Oh, no. Maybe. No! No! Oh, you're almost done. No. Get him. Four more to go. Three, two. <gasps> ah, dead. Uh... It's a good game. <laughs> it's such a fun I game. Love the speech. Oh, so do I. It's really, really good. It's such a cool little add-on to have this, that speech synthesizer. Oh! oh, moving too fast. There you go. Me, theater, me either. I thought it was an original homebrew the first time I saw it. Galloping Ghost Arcade. Where is that, Dan ABC? What did you get? Did you get 55? Oh, this is a new. All the old scores are on the old. My old oh. Atari box. Well, I did pretty well <laughs> in the past. <laughs> I remember playing this quite extensively, and it is quite. Um, Oh, what are you doing? Going nuts. <laughs> oh, um, going backwards is not advised. Brookfield, Illinois. Oh. Ah, right. Well, I don't know when we'll ever get to Illinois. Well, you never know. I'd love to go to <laughs> Chicago sometime, so. I love it. So good. Yeah, going backwards is a bad. You can run into something immediately. It's only useful to back up just a tiny bit. Yeah, Galloping Ghost Arcade is like world renowned. Yeah, a lot of people saying they thought it was original homebrew the first time they saw it. Yeah, it, yeah. I think it's just super, super rare. Yeah, not a common game, obviously. Oh, oh, I'll let you look around. Mm -hmm. I think what makes this game so awesome mm -hmm. is essentially the lines giving the, that extra dimension to to the play. Yes. Shifting back and forth. Can you see? Uh, At the top, Nathan Strom. Just subscribe. Thank you, Nathan Strom. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, the 3D. You need effect a backup camera. Yeah, exactly. Yes, you do. Yeah. Oh my God, the bullets follow you now. Oh yeah. 
I forgot how yeah. hard this gets. What, what wave are you at? Eight? Nine? Eight? Yeah. I, I remember that. Bad. You hit a certain wave and it's like, whoa, it suddenly gets really hard because the bullets do track. So you really have to dodge. Oof, I knew it. But you can see our previous scores were not bad. No, those are... They are pretty decent. Which scores? Wow, Dan ABC, 50 minutes from my house. Every Monday they reveal oh, a new arcade. Currently it's 797 games. So I hit 46,000 at some point and James hit 55,000. So it's pretty good. Oh, well, you just put in your last high score as ZPH, so... No, I didn't. What? The first game you played. Oh, yeah, but it was... Today. Was it even on the board? Uh, I was at 20, 26. Yeah. Oh, there's garbage. empty spots. There's empty spots. Yeah, but it was garbage. The high scores were much better. <laughs> the original high scores. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love it. Oh, you're continuing. Wave 8. You may not want no, to no, do no, that. No, 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 no. I was a continue. I think I continued too. Ah, oh, that would explain. That's why I got such a terrible score. Ah, uh, how do you start from zero? Oh. Well, you were at zero. There you go. You do reset. There we there go. There we go. Yeah, you can see their their bullets just go anywhere. This game was released 2009, so 11 years ago. Super high quality. I'm really glad that um, Chris is still making games, because he hadn't put out one in quite a long time uh, until he put out Xevious. I uh, can't remember what his last game before that was. Was it Star Castle Arcade? Oh, he's almost always oh, off the screen. Oh, he's off the screen. That's okay. <clears throat> Were you able to move your high scores from your old Atari box to the new one? No, unfortunately. I think Carl G was working on a transfer system. But now there's so many new high scores on the new one that you would have to do a merge somehow. But that's impossible. So he would have to know <laughs> how to read every single game and know how to merge them now so i'm just gonna stick with the new one i can't remember if there's anything on the old one that's like oh my god it's amazing um except for like wall jump ninja i guess because my uh broken world record is on that one um i still need to do that probably on a a non-stream day. Mm. Just like, I'm going to beat Ball Jump Ninja. Or not beat. Well, Good luck how, what was the level you ended up at? Mine was 57, I think. I don't, I, I got, I did pretty well, but the last, the la those last few levels, they're so hard to get to and they're so hard to practice. They are. Yeah. Ah, did I get it? No. No, but you somehow threaded the needle through those enemies. I don't know how I managed that. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Um. Oh. They are going after you now. They are tracking you. Yeah. On some level. If Stella could export a file, you could do the merge by hand. Oh, don't have to apologize, Carl. It's all. It's all good. Um. Mm -hmm. So interesting when even homebrew gets to be vintage. Yeah. I yeah. mean, homebrew has been going since the late 90s. 97 was one of the first homebrews, <gasps> I think. No! Did you move this? I just, just, just shifted it off the screen. That sucks. Oh, well. Yeah, homebrew is getting, getting vintage. It's like getting 20, almost 25 years old. Homebrew for the 2600. Like in... Um, cartridge form. Mm. Anyway. Oh, taking too long. One more. You'll get it. Um, if I get back to it, I planned on having it 
have the option to only write to the destination for areas that are blank so it wouldn't overwrite new scores. Is that how it works? This year is the 25th year of homebrew, hence my checklist book coming out. Oh, soon. And again, I missed 25th, that space. so. Oh, terrible. I think you get This year? So that would make it uh, 95 was the first physical homebrew was put out. Oh, interesting. Let me load up the, load up your list here. Don't go backwards too fast. Three to go. No. Oh, I'm gonna Two die. To go. I'm gonna die. One to go. No. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Good score. Sort of. That of the tension span of a uh, suspension span of a toddler drinking ex espresso. Edtris, 1995. Ah, uh, okay. Well, you beat me to it. Oh, game over. 43. Meh, Very good. Getting there. Not the top one. You're Not my top, but it was... Uh... You, got you got on? Owned. Owned. Yeah. Apparently I can't. And Sound X. I think you have been otherwise engaged with Penalt. Yes. You've had a good excuse. <laughs> Making the most expansive RPG ever for the 2600. <laughs> TCO? Or TOB? <laughs> TOB. It all works. We know it's both. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to start from the first level and actually get a normal score. Do you get bonus for uh, leftover fuel? I bet you do. I don't know. Good question. I Earth base. I don't know. A uh, bonus 700. I don't know what that's in That's from hi hyperspace. Is it? Oh, yeah. okay. So when you're in hyperspace, you get extra bonus. You do want to get as much as you physically can to get your score up really high. I'm trying to remember all the tricks to getting a good score. <laughs> Not dying is one of them. Um, such a good game. And getting the hyperspace. That's how you do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Get the hyperspace and then you just pick them all off That's right. from the top. Ah, oh, I knew it. Damn it. Uh, arena foot. 7800 2600 monitor cartridge, aka Harry Dodgson's monitor cartridge, actually released in 1993 via Usenet. Oh, wow. Okay. So. Been going for a long time. Yeah. Almost 30 years. Mm -hmm. 93 is just past. Just past. It's then. just homebrew mm. because the 2600 was still going in 92. That's shocking. Yeah. That is. Because it was just kept selling. Well. Oh, oh it was, you gotta pay attention uh, to what you've left oh behind. Oh my god, that was oh. terrible. <laughs> terrible. I'm gonna reset. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, you, you have to put reset. put your ZPH uh, in. I'll have to do it anyway next time. So, mm -hmm. so oops, I oh, might as well keep going this way. You know, first wave one. Sound X released in 1994, but not a game. Hmm. Uh, oh, yeah. And neither, neither is a monitor cartridge, right? So. Technically, yeah. Watch out. Yeah. There's dude behind you. That's what I find so cool about this game, is Raps. you can go back, but you have to know what you left behind. <laughs> That's right. So if you're not sure, you keep going forward, because, you know, you will eventually get to them, but you might utilize a little too much gas. 
Yeah. But, but, um, oh, do you use up gas by accelerating, too? I believe so. I don't know. No. I don't know if it's worse. Because you use up now. gas by just sitting there, too. Yeah. Oh! Oh, god damn it. Oh, it's still there. So if you stay on the same um, horizontal plane, yeah. does it go go down? Yes. Yeah, it's yeah, it purely does. time. Okay. Purely time. It doesn't matter. That's good. So you Backwards can or forwards. Accelerate so, without worrying. Yeah, you can go crazy. It doesn't doesn't change anything. Good. They don't move horizontally, so you can just, once you're lined up, you can accelerate yeah. into them. No, absolutely. You just have to be careful of everything around you, right? So. Yeah. Chicken oh, butt. Mm. So remember, we, I had Cory over. Yeah. Um, who had, who was really good at this game. Mm. I think he had played it in the UK. Mm. Uh, Cory L. Cory. L. Oh, the one, uh... Here. Here, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah! At one of our retro game ah! nights. No, no, he's on the show. He was actually on the oh, show no. once. Oh, no, Corey from the island. No. No? Hell, here. The guy who lives here. Oh, that Corey. <laughs> okay, sorry. We only know two Corys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So he played in the arcade. Yeah, he was, uh, he was very Just good destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's good at games in general. Well, yeah. really, he really he's good. a game developer. He used to own arcade of, uh, machines, so yeah, um, and, and have like a stack of arcade he, boards. He develops games for modern consoles. Yes. Yeah. Um, so he should be pretty. Good he should games. be a pretty good game player. Yeah. yeah. What I can't was, remember what what's this... the latest one called that he he developed. Uh, oh. Or yeah. he's involved in the development of? I shouldn't say he developed. Because no, it's, it's a, a huge, huge team. team. Oh, uh, what is it called? I should know. Oh. Name, oh, I always forget the name of it. It's obviously not a game we've played. <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's a, it's an online multiplayer game. Yeah, I don't play games like this. Um, I don't play multiplayer games oh, like, I can't, with I can't other people. Remember, I can't, it's terrible that I can't remember the name right now. I, I would need it's a, a monster hunter type game. Um, it's killing me. It's like it. if we set it and you played these types of games, you would you, know. You it. would know it's exactly. Very well known. Yeah. Hey, look at that guy! He came back like yeah. from nowhere. Yeah. Though, yeah, the purple ones do go backwards. Yeah. Oh god. We're almost there. Almost. You'll get it. Don't die! <gasps> so lucky. Doing well. Your score is so super good. His score is on the other card. The oh, other I see. Uh, Atari box. Yeah. It's like really high. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Because we were like competing in some, some thing, some online uh, competition. Distracting it. Missed it. Oh, it was like one pixel off. No. That's okay. I can't remember what level I got up to. It was quite, quite high last time. It was like wave of 11 or 12. No, 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 no. So you kind of have to keep going forward on this purple levels with the purple guys. Because they're actually running away from you. I have to say that shooters are tied for my favorite type of game with platformers. I'm not sure which one I like better, because I like both of them, and they're both so very different. Dauntless. Dauntless. That's me. Sorry, that it sounds like Gauntlet. Me. 
The gauntlet, yeah. <laughs> So I can't remember what he does specifically on it. I think he does... He does he, some coding, he does textures? Or? No, but I think he's he's more involved in management now of, yeah. of the actual development, so... Damn it! I digress. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> he's very good at this game. He's a very, very good, good game. game player in general. Yes. Quite a, an exceptional well, game player. Luckily, I'm adequate. <laughs> So I can at least play games and I not be completely paid. embarrassed. <laughs> I can't say the same. But <laughs> I I I'm not so incompetent I can't play it. Oh no, you play games all I play games all the time. Ninety four, that is a respectable yeah. score in fact. What? Hey guys, late getting here. I hope you guys enjoyed the pick of my new kitten, Daisy. Oh, <gasps> where did you I've send it? I've had for about six weeks. I posted on your Facebook page. Oh. We will be looking for... What will we see it right now? The adorable little kitten. We'll show it to everyone. <laughs> We're going to show this little kitten right now to everyone. On the Facebook page? Okay. <sighs> I want to see a little fluffy kitten. Is it under today's... Uh, I think so. Live comments? No? Maybe? Maybe a reply? Nope. Under said Facebook page. Yeah. This here's ZPH. Oh, uh, yep. Where's this mm. kitten? Oh, maybe they sent an email. Something in the inbox. Posted. I posted on your Facebook page. <gasps> I don't know. It's because you posted it. Not in the inbox. We'll, f we'll find it. If not now, we'll show it next Oh, next but I want to see the kitten. I thought there's places where people can post things on their own. I don't know where it is. It was about two weeks ago. It looks oh. like Atari or Pixel. Oh, yes, yes, Yeah, someone yes. that looks a lot like Atari. I remember oh you showing God. me. Did I not show that in the show? I'm sure I did. I don't know if you did or not, but you I showed me. I don't know me. where it is. That's okay. Two weeks. So sad. Ah, it's so long cats. ago. Um, that's a very, very good score. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll move on from that. Yeah. Now. <laughs> yeah. Um, it it was a very, very cute kitten. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Almost hundred thousand. That was really good. I think it was Atari. It looked like Atari's sleeping right over here. It's too exciting for him to be on the couch right now. Oh, he's up against the door. I know. Uh, pixel. So we're going to move on to the last game, which is Space Game, which mm -hmm. is by Carl G, who oh, is in the chat thing. right have now. I, have I played Space Game? You I may can not have. Remember. I can never remember the games. Can you load it up? Once I start playing it, that's when, when the memory comes back. Oh, yeah. There's but, uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of I'm just terrible at remembering games. names. I'm terrible at remembering people's names and game names, but... I know the gameplay the moment I play it. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Terrible. I don't think I played this game. This doesn't ring any bells for me. This is a great shooter in the fact that it has really cool power ups. What are, what are the power ups? Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm just looking. I'm looking at the game right now. That's a power up. Oh, I see. So you shoot all the bad guys. Yeah, well, I'm doing and that a terrible little job dot, of that. That little dot falls down. Falls down and gives really you a power quickly. up. There are bad power-ups, and there's good power-ups. Well, how do you know bad from good? Uh, you have to memorize what they look like. Oh. There's also random power-ups, which could be good or bad. And you can't let the bot dot get to the bottom of the screen because it kills you. What? So you have to shoot the bad guys before the dot gets to get that. There you go. Times two is good because it gives you two ships, which are also twice as big. Sometimes the dot turns into nothing. Oh. Or sometimes so. the dot isn't even there. Um, or you shoot it, maybe? No, you don't shoot it. You just no, I it. keep shooting it. Oh. Damn. Ah! I don't remember that, being able to shoot it. Maybe you can accidentally shoot it. Get that. Um, one of them is backwards controls, which is terrible, as you can imagine. Um, I don't want to lose this one. This one's awesome. I like this one the best, I think. But you're such a big target. Time. What was that? Extra time? Oh, that's a shield, I believe. The one with the dot. Ah. You can't shoot the smart bomb. So. Ah. 
What, what, what's going avoid, on? Avoid, avoid. How avoid. do I avoid? I've got two. <laughs> do your best. I don't think you can shoot them, right? No. No. You just go through them. Uh, getting reverse controls is not that bad. Losing it after you get, get used to it sucks. Ah, uh, yeah. And there's a couple extra ah. power-ups that I can't remember what they are, but we'll discover them as we go. No, no. Ah! I like the double. I want the double back. <laughs> ah! And there's, a, and there's a great variety. <laughs> yeah, it has exactly what it needs for great gameplay. It does. It has... Lots of enemies, lots of different types of movement. Mm. It has great power-ups, and it has an interstitial screen gotcha. so that it breaks up the game. Mm. Like the has the, um, the meteor shower. That is about. Oh, <gasps> is it? So you're, that you're, makes you're you wide big. without any advantage. Oh, you don't get a bigger shot. I uh, know. It oh, looks like your shot's bigger. It's pointless. But that's that doesn't really it's not as good as the double shot. No. Oh. Oh, you're back to normal though, at least. Uh what does that do? The X. Oh, it it makes your shot uh And that I should have got that. What was it? It it makes your shot not reliable. I like the eyeballs. So I'm shooting like and half only, only half the time is it actually working. And I've not seen that in very many games. That's pretty funny. Where it's like, uh, I want to cast like a magic rolling, missile, but it's, it's like not you're, working. It's, you're rolling a dice, and it's like, nope, 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 lose. <laughs> rolling a one. You're rolling a one ah! every time. <laughs> it's like getting worse, it seems. And it, you keep it until oh, you die. Until until you get something Oh, come else. on. Rough. Funny. That's funny. Fast, slow, bad gun, reverse movement, two times, wide ship, shield, wide lingering shot. Wide lingering shot. Mm. Oh, fast, you can speed up. But you have to memorize all the different symbols. And you have to make a decision really quick. So really what you want to memorize is the good ones, and then avoid everything else. I just want to keep there's this. A, I think there's a lightning bolt one that's really good. That's not good. That's a that's a bad one. That's a wide ship. I find this one is the best. It's, I... It reminds me of Galagon. It's like yeah. on the Galagon theme tonight. Yeah. It's like get your double ship. Ah no! Because you can. That's ah. shield, I believe. Oh, I don't think I got it. Ah! You always want to pick off ah. the outside one. Don't be in the middle of three. I know. I know. It's bad. I like this eyeball. Ah! Winky eyeball. He's and, moving too too fast. And he also made a 2K version of this game. Um, this is a 32K version. Nope, nope. Uh, a big chunky chip, chunky ship now. So if you get one with a symbol with an X through a circle, oh, it shows you what it's going to be potentially. Does it? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Did you even make this wave? No. <laughs> Wow. Hush it. I might actually be better at this game than you. Hush it. <laughs> Lightning bolt is fast. Ah! Why am I not shooting? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good question. Um, Shoki1968 says, Are you guys excited for the new games coming to the Atari Age store in a few days? My wallet is going to be a few games emptier. Um, Great Defender says, For sure. So which... Which games are you most excited about getting? Does That's anybody... what you need a pull for. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Which games are you most excited for? I should have made that one. No, no, next time. Um, yeah, I guess it'll still be valid next Friday. People, Because I could say, which games have you bought or are you going to buy? It's going to be a massive <laughs> list, though. It smells like campfire. Does it? From what? Somebody's burning logs outside. Probably in the park. There's probably some. It's burning the tree that fell down. Hobos <laughs> burning trees. Hobos. <laughs> Not hobos. Hobos with holes in their shoes and thing mm. ba bags on sticks over their shoulder. Oh no! I die a lot easier when I'm only a single ship. 
These guys take two shots. Do they? And I think they read. Oh no, they <gasps> don't. Oh, that, Did you get it? that was something good. They don't I take know. two shots. You have to get them when their thing is closed, I think. Or open. Open. That's what it is. Or maybe not. Hmm. Seem to have shot them both ways. Uh, my wallet won't be lighter. I have enough store credit to get everything I want without paying out of pocket. I sent Al a bunch of donor cards. Oh, awesome. That's really great. Because it makes it, uh, it's good for Al and it's good for you. You're going to die. What is going on? I can't hit them. You have they're... to shoot them at certain times. I'm shooting them constantly. I think when they're moving, maybe. <sighs> I don't know. Gauntlet 2600. Spies of the Night too. Gauntlet 2600. Did... I didn't know that he's Your putting favorite? that out. Oh, is he putting it out? Or are these his favorites? favorites? These are... Oh, when these they are, are not moving. Okay, that makes sense. When they're not moving. Oh, oh these yeah. are games that haven't been put out yet. Yeah. Did Try5 develop this game? Because he seems to know it very well. He just likes it. <laughs> no, Carl G made it. Carl and, G. Uh, yeah. Also... What's the other person's name? So I forgot to put it on the list when I put Maggie Vogel. Mm-hmm. And Carl G made uh, Cannons, Toy Shop Terminator, uh, Space Game, which we're playing, Space Game 2K as well, and Penalt and RC Sumo. Tribe 5 says I'm MVO. Oh, well, you did make this game. Yeah. <laughs> All these names. Uh, yes. There now you go. Now I can play at the level you were playing. <laughs> I was just getting very unlucky. Yeah, you do get unlucky sometimes. Lol. <laughs> Tribe 5. <laughs> nope. I like this one. I like it too. Keep it as long as you can. That one cancels it out. Does it? It stops whatever you have. Yeah. Which is I good like if this, it's a bad thing. I like this concept a lot. It's like you I love power up systems. I love power up systems and sometimes the power up is not to your advantage. Yep. So yeah, I like games like that. Complex power up systems. Yeah. That's why in real tournament oh, what the oh. In what? But Sorry, Unreal Tournament? Unreal Tournament 2600 is uh, very interesting because there's so many different guns. Yeah. Oh, missed it. It is actually kind of hard to catch them. But... It is. Ooh, ah, oh, I think ooh, that ah, ooh, ah, ends oops. the round. Does it? No. It skips a level? No. What was the list again? It's gone. Oh, it's Fast Bullets. Oh, that's better. I just happened to be at the end fast of the Fast Bullets is pretty good. It's not auto fire, but that's cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. I'll still go for the two times. Because it's like a. Uh, yeah, um, Chai says it's, it just happens to be the last thing. Yeah. Oh. Uh, no, yeah. It's because bullets. two times is like a shield and double bullets at the same time. Well, yeah, time. because you get, you get an extra life in a sense, I guess. Yeah. yeah. It does tell you what you could get. Are you sure? I don't know. Or no, it shows you what you have. Oh. Uh. Uh, okay. When you, when you, yeah, when you kill the last, last of the two or three. Oh no, it flashes back and forth. Oh, now it's over. It hmm. does run out. Ah. Interesting. I like that. That's cool. And I think you just get points taken off when you hit Stay Frosty these. 3. Yeah. Stay Frosty 3. I don't... I haven't heard any rumors of him working on that. Is, um... Is that Arena Foot just... Mm -hmm. Listing things he'd like to see? I think so, yes. <laughs> it is arena food. Oh god. Why did I get that? Reverse? No, no. Just oh, unstable. Bad shot. He has to be stopped. Oh, slowness! No! Slowness is better than Probably unstable. Probably better than unstable. Because Not at least for these I can guys, shoot. though. They're, they're hard. So you can only shoot them when they're not moving. They're getting so low. Oh, they can't shoot when they're low. Oh, I should have got that. It's better okay. than slow. <gasps> yeah! Yay! Yay! I won't get anything else. Nope. I will keep it. So good. The devil is so good.
Tempest is another one of those games talked as being difficult. To make? Yes. Yeah. It's... Nobody has come up with something that's decent. Mm. I think the only... What is happening? Oh! 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 It's the octopus! Space Oct... Oh my god. Shoki says, looking forward to uh, oh Ninjish Guy in Low Res World Ooh, and his yes. night game and the new Robotron if it's released. I yes. made it to the boss and I died. Yep. First boss. All those. Uh, Robotron is yep. not going to be released. No? Um, no. Is it? Is that on the list? That'd be nice. Well, it's not yet because there's too many things. I don't think he's done it yet. Where's my list? Of games. I made it to the boss and died super quick. It's Zookeeper right now. He's releasing, not Robotron. Go for it. I made it to the boss. You have to make it to the boss. Mm. And I died immediately. Because I kept running into its exploding thing and I wasn't thinking. Um, yeah, I'm excited for all of them. I'm mean, really excited for Deep, Sto Deep Stone Catacomb. Mm. That's an amazing RPG game. It's so, so, so polished it's so clean and just the it's random oh no i got my you life went up or something it was weird you got a fast shot but you died instantly last time well it does tell you what you have it flashes between your lives and what you have i have fast shot now which is good it's a very good one yeah i'm not it's not as good as double but it's good um looking forward to all of them but robot city Night Ninjish Guy in Low Res World. Um, Zookeeper. Um, ah, I just ran right into it. What is wrong with me? I'm excited to see the final version of Daredevil. Because um, we haven't actually... We didn't get a final version of Daredevil. I don't think. So we'll be able to see what he's added to that. Um, ah. Ah. It's hard when you're fast. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're all good. They're all really, really good. What is Robot Can City? It, Someone's saying there. What is Robot City? It's made by Thomas Yench. It, you are a tank. You know, you're a helicopter shooting tanks. You have to shoot the tanks from behind. And there's X number of tanks on the screen and they're all in a maze it's kind of like pac-man without the pellets and but you can only and you can kill the enemies anytime but you have to kill them in a certain way and because they're slowly ganging up on you and the maze is a certain way oh that would be good um it makes it very strategic yeah don't never get that one the question mark? The backwards joystick garbage it's terrible that was the reverse Oh. Uh, Robot City is super, super, super awesome. And it's an amazing 4K game. That that he was able to pack so much gameplay into 4K. Oh, oh, I was doing so well. I don't remember what this level is about. Like Dodging, I assume. Like, you lose points for hitting, um, getting hit? Yes, you yes. do. So it's less of a bonus and more of... Uh, lose <laughs> lose points level. Maybe get a bonus for not getting hit throughout the whole thing. Get it? There you go. Robot City is cool because you have the time to think about your moves, but it's still really hard. Yeah, everything's moving slow, so you have time. But sometimes, oh, come on. Sometimes you. Oh, I'm slow. Very slow. Whoa, that was close. I'm so slow. <laughs> but it's super strategic. Especially when you get up to higher levels. And there's harder and easier mazes as well. Um, so the more tanks you have... I was doing pretty well. And also on higher levels, the tanks can rescue each other as mm. well. Yeah, I'm really glad that Thomas went back to Robot City. Um, I mean, I played it on the show, and that's mm. when he was like... Oh, maybe I'll give this another go mm. to try and finish it. And I'm really glad it finally um, he was able to finish it. VHZC says this game is really cool. I really like it when enemy enemy waves have such variety. 
Yes. Uh, yeah. VH said, see, I see some similarities with <laughs> VHZC this is... game and uh, your game. So VH said, see, is the king of variety. Variety, yes. Oh, my God. And you know what? I love, I love just the different little enemy icons that come flying down at you and... Oh, yeah. There's something about that that's just it's it's weirdly satisfying when they change all the time yeah. there's a, a very big um similarity to roach in space and this there is actually yeah um, i i see some parallels there yeah with the not the same type type no. of game but it, it yeah just with the variety of enemies yeah um and this this game has a boss too I, I, mm -hmm. I don't think we've gotten a shield yet, have we? Yeah. Ah, Every we wave go. introduces a new alien with new properties, and yeah. I like that. It just oh, adds so complexity good. and Keeps variety. You excited, interested in it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Games like this, you ah, just ah. want to continue playing. You want to keep yeah. pushing forward. Especially when there's goals. Like there's yeah. bosses, there's yeah. specific levels, there's this. Yeah. Yeah, you don't do well with two ships in that, no. that area. No, for sure. Ah. Nope, nope, nope. Don't want to give up my double. Mm, the double is pretty cool. It does time out, though. The double's good and the speed is good, too. Oh, yeah. Both of those. Oh, the timer at the bottom is how much time you have left mm. on your current... Life? Um, power up. So oh. it's almost over. Gotcha. So if you get the timer, mm. I believe that powers you back up. Your current weapon. Wow, well, you did really well on that one. So I'm almost my. Uh, power I find these guys there. the most challenging because you can only hit them at certain points. Like when they stop moving, you can only oh, hit them. Oh, that's over. So. Lost it. Yeah. Interesting. So if it's almost down to nothing, you should think about grabbing a new one if it's available to you. Which makes sense. And some of these guys multiply again if you don't kill them fast enough. Ah. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. Give me something. Yes. <gasps> oh, oh. It, you know what? It's so easy to not catch them too. Because they're all they're going wobbly, they're going, so wobbly down the screen. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Stop yeah, moving. this is this is a good game. Very simple and very fun. So you had not played this before? No, no. I don't know who you played it with, but it was me. Ah! I'm always scared. Is it, bad? Is it bad? Oh, it's slowness. No! I don't like it. Oh, just barely... Well, it's better than slowness. Yeah. I'll tell you that. Come on. Oh, oh shield. That's shield. What's the dot then? Don't know. That's the first time we've actually even seen a shield. Oof. Here's the boss. Great. I'm oh, big. Oh, no. Wide ship. At least I know not to run into his bloody bullets anymore. Oh, when they explode? Yeah. They, they, they create a <laughs> barrier. Wall? Of course, he's over there, and I can't get over because he keeps shooting. Oh, God. Nice! Whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't think I've ever played this. Made it this far? Yeah, I don't know why I have not made it this far. That's pathetic. At least you're not big anymore. Wow, that... Oh, my God. Wave bonus! Woo! Bonus wave. <laughs> Shield is more rare. The dot is wide shot. Yay. Catch the squares. Shoot the spaceship. Shoot. Oh, catch those. I missed it. Got it. Oh my god, this is so cool. No, I've never made it so this So much far. diversity in this game. It's yeah. awesome. 
I am Love sorry it. I have not played this much more than I have. No! Who do you think you played it with? Darcy or... I can't Aaron? remember. I, I, I remember... When did it come out? Uh, this one's a little older. Huh. Excellent. Yes, it's a great game! <laughs> Oh, yeah, press for oh. oh, they're like guys with gas masks. Yeah. The little flies, maybe. Fly mouths. Oh, maybe. But I was thinking like gas masks. masks, but you know what? It's COVID time, so <laughs> everything's a mask now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Unstable shot. No. Like half my shots are bad. Oh, oh, big shot. Wide shots, nice. Okay, that works. Maybe it's they're more powerful, terrible. too. So those guys you have to hit twice, it seems. Ooh, yeah, fast shot. Definitely. Fast shots are awesome. I could have got that. Nice. Skulls are space monkeys. Yeah, because space, space monkeys. monkeys. <laughs> space monkey. Yeah. Excellent sprite design. I agree. Oh, yeah. I still think they look like gas masks. People breathing in gas masks. Space monkeys, I like too. <laughs> Gas masks. <laughs> yep. I feel like these are flying uh, grenades. Yeah, yeah. That's that what works. it looks like to me. Mm. Uh, wide shot also lingers when it explodes. Great when the oh. enemies are moving fast. Mm. Mm. Wide shot, definitely. These guys are new. Mm -hmm. Like how they turn purple. I'm almost out. No. Oh, no. oh. oh no, that. that's a bad one. That's not good. Two times. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. Yes, please. I like the two times. Probably the best. Oh, oh no. No. At least it's like also having an extra life, so. Yes. Move too much. Too much movement. Ah. Ah. No, I don't think I want that. No, it just gives you something randomly. I, the last time thing. I did it wasn't a bad thing, but well. you never know. You don't know what you're going to get. Oh, uh, slowness. I always forget that slowness. Get rid of it. Oh. Oh, oh, oh they no. They multiply, they come back. Oh, no. There's no time out. Oh, no. There's no time. Oh no! That was a good. That was a good round. That's really good. Bonus life, extra life, and then death. He went the Proteus but way. It, it makes good. the game look unique and fun. Yes, just yeah. lots of things. So I'm gonna list off mm -hmm. um, the different Should I play? categories. Yeah, you can go okay. for it. So we've got shooters which we're playing now. There's definitely going to be at least one more show of shooters because there's so many good ones. It's... Is that the unstable one? Yeah. Damn it. Um, there's platformers. Oh, Lord, there's going to be at least two now. shows of platformers because there's a lot of platformers. There were like zero when the system came out. There's like Mario Brothers. I think that's it. If that's a platformer, you can consider that a platformer. Oh, I guess there was Mountain King. Oh, God, I'm terrible. No, there's Montezuma's Revenge. No, there was platformers. There was platformers. Um, we're going to have a puzzle show where everybody's just going to be bored out of their minds and leave. But we're going to do puzzles. Oh, yep. my God. That was a terrible one. Um, Too much wine. Too much wine. We're going to do an RPG show. Best of RPGs. One of my favorite RPGs. Like, these aren't the best, per se, like, in any way. They're just things I like to play. Um, I'm not saying that these are the best made, the best technologically done, the, the most favorite out of everyone's on the forums. They're just my favorites. Do terribly. So don't take too uh, this too much into account in terms of if your game is not featured on this, because oh, there's so many games too. Even worse. 
Um, best multiplayer game. We're going to leave that till after the... Uh, did somebody comment? Something... Not the pandemic. I can't remember what somebody called it uh, on a different YouTube channel. It's really funny. Um, the best one-button games. I've only got four there so far. I don't know if there's that many one-button games, but I've got four on the list so far. The best arcade games, ones that don't really fit in any specific category, but are arcade conversions. RPG Show! Yes. Yes, McMuse. I wonder what would be in that show. Um, um, the best paddle games. I've only got one so far. I've gotten but... every bad power up. This oh, no. I've gotten the slowdown, I've gotten the unstable shot, and now I'm super wide. I don't know how I have such terrible, terrible luck. Pitfall, I would say that's a platformer. This is terrible. Because you have to jump across things. There are two levels. It's multi-screen, which is actually really good for the 2600. I would say it it would fall under platformer. Especially Pitfall 2. That would definitely fall under platformer. Yeah, Montezuma's Revenge. That is like... Oh, and I just saw somebody posted the full map of Montezuma's Revenge. I don't know if it applies to the 2600. If it had all the levels. And I never knew it was a pyramid. Like you get one level on the first one. Then there's three or two. And three, four, five, six. And it's like this huge pyramid. And I never knew it was actually a full pyramid inside. Uh, Ninja Sky is a platformer. Oh yeah, Ninja Sky is definitely a <laughs> Not doing so well anymore. Don't Go is a paddle game. Don't Go. Oh my god. I've forgotten what Don't Go looks like. Remember we played it. Yeah. I mean when there's hundreds... Too much wine. <laughs> That's what you'll blame it on. Yep. Damn right. Don't Go... 600... Is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's a new one. Have we played that on the show yet? Did we play it? We must have played it, it on the show. Sounds familiar. Already. It's a paddle game where you're controlling four paddles at once. Oh, yeah. Yes, we did. Yes, I, I do October remember October 20th. Yeah, yep, we played it. I remember. It was a little while back. Two months ago. Yeah, yeah don't go as a paddle game. Um, and then I have other which i need to either put into a category or they just stay in their own category it hurts tanya's brain oh yes that's right oh yeah Where yeah backwards i was i the... was i was uh it was really hurting my brain i just have to say <laughs> yeah so you have to think you have to switch back and forth between your left yeah. and right constantly it, it, it was it was causing problems for sure <laughs> um so these will be great to fill in gaps when I don't have a lot of games to play. Mm -hmm. Like today, there was not a lot of new games. Um, so I was like, oh, what am I going to do? Come up with themes. Panic yeah. time. Well, I, had, I had already had started this months and months and months ago. Um, so I was just like, oh, okay, maybe it's time to actually do a show on it. And um, since it was going to span multiple shows... <gasps> I can just pick out one from one category, and I thought, oh, let's do Sugars first. And it's more about playing the game rather than going into the history, because when we played these before, we've already gone into the history of them. So I can just worry about playing them and having fun. Oh, what'd you get? I don't know. No <laughs> idea. It's an X right now. It doesn't say. Maybe I have nothing. I don't know. Nothing? Um... I was worried today because we got um, flu shots yesterday. Yeah. And oh. I'm left-handed when I'm writing, but I hardly ever write. So I told her to put it into my right arm. Yep. Yeah. Or my left arm. Because I use the mouse mostly, that's what I use. But then I didn't think about playing, which I'm left-handed. Mm. You're left-handed on the joystick, correct? 
No, you're... I'm right-handed. So you go like this? No. Is that a left-handed joystick? I always have the joystick in my left Joysticks hand. Joysticks are left-handed. Yeah. In general. Yeah. There's, there's conspiracy theories about that, but... <laughs> Why they made them left-handed? Yeah. Because people were too good on the right hand? Because mm. it doesn't make any sense, does it? Mm. That they're... I don't know. I don't know. Your brain is more connected to the button, I think. Uh, I don't know. It's about dexterity. Yeah. Does know. everybody think about that? I'll have to make that a poll. <laughs> about I've left. never tried having a joystick with the right hand. I think it's always been the left. Or wait! Hmm. Arcade games are 99% joystick is in your left hand. The um, Commodore 64 joystick is in... Are you hitting the button on the top and using your right hand? No, well, it depends on the joystick. No, but the big, the big phallic red one with the white button on top. That's the one I'm thinking about. Um, I have one somewhere, but I'm not going to dig it out right now. Is it the right hand? Ooh, that's a good question. I think you use the right hand. I and think hit you the do button too. and then and hit it with the left. I think you do too. Mmm, that's interesting. I'm righty, my sister is lefty. Lefty. Yeah. In what game? Yeah. I mean James is left-handed, but you heavily re rely on your right hand for most things. Just for writing is left. Yeah, just writing and anything. And mousing, right? You mouse with your left. No, I do not. Oh, my you mouse does. with your right. Yep. Yeah. Interesting. My mom's left-handed. She mouses with her left. Oh, but you do the opposite. I do everything right-handed except, except for, for writing. writing. Yeah. Pretty much. Interesting. So I would be technically called ambidextrous, which I wouldn't say that. I I more well, term ambidextrous as you can use either, but that's not the real official term. The real official term is do you use both for different things? No. <laughs> it's nice when you have time to decide. So what's normal for, for swinging a bat in baseball? Your right hand. Right hand. If you're right-handed, your right hand is behind you? It's the bat swings on the, your right. Like this? Yes. Mm. And, and being left-handed is unusual. Yeah, in baseball. Yeah. Same with golf. And you catch with your right. Yeah. Play golf? Uh, a briefly. little bit. I don't like it. Well, your dad played golf, and you were forced to work on a golf course. So. Yeah. Well, my dad didn't play golf. My grandfather played a lot of golf. Uh, my dad okay. didn't really play that much golf at all, really. Mm. Uh, but I worked at a golf course, and I could play for free there. But I did not. <laughs> much to the chagrin Good. of, I'm sure, a lot of people. Yeah. That was when you were a teenager, or twenties. Late teens, early 20s. Mm. I worked there for two and a half, three, maybe three years. Mm. It was fine. <laughs> you got dirty. Well, you did, um, you did grass, like you did um, landscaping and grass, grass stuff, You could right? call it landscaping. Yeah. Um, weed whacking. <laughs> um, uh, refilling water jugs. Um, reseeding teas. Yeah. Um, general garbagey things mm. like that. <laughs> Chai says, my sister is left-handed. My brother disassembled the 2600 controller and rewired it to be a lefty joystick just for her. Oh, oh Interesting. nice. Um, yeah, I'll have to do that as a poll. Ooh, Marty there? Yeah. What the hell? Weird. <sighs> You oh. definitely want to be on the left of him, it seems. No. No, because you, you, it took a long time. To, Damn it. Uh, it, took, it took you a long time to hit him when he was on the, when he's on the left of you. You want to be on the left of him. Nice. That Good was job. pretty quick. Um, Reminds me of Simo's music mm -hmm. this level. It's not too bad. No. No, it's pretty wide. Catch. Oh, are you supposed to get that? And that's... What puts you in the bonus wave? Maybe. Okay, same as last time. I like these block explosions. Mm. Oh, catch that. Catch that. Catch... Ah, wiggly. Stand still. Ah! 
wonder if you get mm. kicked out of the bonus wave if you get hit by the UFO. Probably done. Uh, Shoki, no, any word on Dan Kitchen's Gold Rush release date? Not yet. Uh, you guys will know as soon as I am able to say. But uh, last I heard, he really wanted to get it out at the end of this year. Mm. The end of this year is coming very soon. <laughs> so there's not many, uh, not many days left, but no word yet. Um, you will see it here on the stream first. So keep, t keep tuned. Tune in. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, keep watching. I will let you know. Someone um, made, uh, well, Miss Command made the comment it'd be interesting to play with paddles this game. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh slow. Oh, no. Paddles really changes things up. Yeah, it because does. You move quickly. You're able to move wherever you want as quick as you want. Um, it would be a neat option. It would really change the game. It would be a lot easier, especially for catching things. So you'd just be able to, like, strafe them. No, hate it. Oh, need something else and mm, just about anything. It's dying. Did you actually keeps exploding? Did you ever get the backwards joystick? Backwards? Or are you no, I don't think so. No, you're very lucky. Yeah. I remember playing this last time and always getting that. I don't know why. The 2K version. Oh, you're done is... now, at least. Oh, good. 2K version is a uh, very scaled down. Should I get it? Oh, there we go. Backwards. You're backwards? Yep. Is that random? Must be. Oh, no. Backwards is death. <sighs> I just started my paddle shooter. Nice. Oh, cool. Well, we're done anyway, VH. That's it. Um, <laughs> Are we done then? Yeah, I think okay. so. Um, uh, incredible games. Of course, because they're really all fun. my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> they're all going to be incredible. No, all of them are such awesome games high 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 quality yeah. um they're all good games they're all fun all shooters all you could play just indefinitely yeah yeah there's so much replay value and that's my definition of favorite is a game that i just want to keep playing yeah you don't want to stop <laughs> and you can go back to over and over again yeah. and you just play it play it play it mm -hmm. um so that is kind of my criteria for my favorite game yeah. Like I will, I could pick it up, put it in, and play it, and be super happy yeah. playing. And suddenly it. you look at the clock here and like, oh, I've been playing this for over an yeah. hour. Like, yeah. And fun yeah. watching too. Oh, great! Thank you, Esther <laughs> Maris. Um, great show, guys. I enjoyed playing, uh, seeing Space Game played again. Well, yeah. thank you for making it. It's yeah. so good. I'm gonna it have to. It is a fun I game. I don't actually have it physically, so yeah. I'm gonna have to pick up a, a copy of it mm. um, eventually. Yeah, maybe after this big next batch. <laughs> It's going to be a lot, a lot of games coming out. Um, Galagon, incredible, incredible port. Mm -hmm. Draconian, incredible port. Oh my God, what an achievement. Uh, Juno first, so much fun. Love the Atari Vox. Oh, that. yeah. And it yeah. gets to a point where it's so hard to play. It gets snotty at the end, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, Owned. Yeah, thank yeah. you. And <laughs> sp Space Game... I just love the variety of it. It mm. it's you look at it and you go, oh, it's so blocky and mm. and it's like, oh, that's a simple game. But the gameplay is incredible. The, mm. the variety is incredible. The the power ups, the enemies, the bonus waves, and the the bosses. There's just so much to that game. Because um, I remember the first time I played it on the show, mm. I was like, oh, kind of a chunky chunky space shooter <laughs> simple chunky space shooter oh mm -hmm. things are coming down you shoot them and then you get into it and you're like wow this is really really good mm -hmm. someday you should try the arcade version of juno first yeah. that game deserves more love i don't know if we have a copy of it on like a arcade compilation i wonder if there do you guys know if there's a juno first arcade mm -hmm. compilation let me let me check it out juno first um wikipedia because it should say where legacy oh somebody listed it um on the wikipedia page for the 2600 wikipedia needs 
serious updating in terms of Atari 2600 homebrew. Mm. Like listing the homebrew under the arcade games titles. Like, almost none of them are there. This is one of the only ones where it says, oh, there's a 2600 version. Mm. Uh, mm, it doesn't say anything about it being included. It was put out for the C64 and Atari 8-bit. Interesting. Oh, wow. 8-bit. An MSX, which means it probably got converted by mm. somebody to the ColecoVision, because almost all the MSXs get converted. And it, yeah. Uh, hmm. Juno first. Um, Atari. Everything was put out for the PS2. Not Atari. Why am I putting Atari? It is a Konami game. Oh. I don't know if they ever made a modern release. I, I don't see it. Let me put in compilation. Hmm. No. Hmm? Maybe it was never, ever, ever released wow. for a modern system. That's really interesting. Because it's such a good game. Maybe it's just so unknown. Not not as popular as the other ones. Yeah. yeah. Juno first, Konami Wiki. Maybe that's in there. Hmm. Uh, there's nothing in this. Nothing. <laughs> Somebody just copied uh, Wikipedia for yeah. that. Hmm. Wow. Because I was like, oh, I probably have it on one of my compilations. But maybe not. Um, by Konami. I oh, is there any con Konami compilation? Uh, we'll have to get rid of Juno first. Cause... Konami Classics. Um, Contra. Oh, no. Oh, that's no. not very good. No, not a great one. Konami's Arcade Gallery. No. no. Puyan, Scramble, Rock and Rope, Yair, Kung Fu, Chir Circus Charlie, Super Cobra, Gyrus. There's Gyrus. some good ones in there, but yeah. it's not in this one. Interesting. Uh, Konami Antiques MSN MSX Collection. Mm, oh, I, I should show, put this on the screen so you guys can see it too. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, website. Um... Parodius, Co Comic Bakery, there's nothing there. Uh, Konami Classic Series Arcade Hits is about the last one. No. It has never been put out. Wow. That is super, super surprising. Oh, there's one more. Arcade Classics. No, you just looked at that oh. one. It's How come it didn't? Hmm. Arcade Advanced? We haven't looked at that one. Nope. No. Interesting. Wow. Maybe it's under... No, it wouldn't be here. No? No, it might be. Uh, Mine would have... Well, this is just a full list. Yeah, but shouldn't it be there? There's Juno first. Juno first under 1983. 1983, yeah. But released by Gottlieb. I don't think Gottlieb ever made a compilation. Hmm. But usually oh, it's listed... Chicago. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? If you hover, it says Gottlieb. Oh. Hover over that. Based, based in, in Chicago, Chicago Illinois. Illinois. <laughs> and wasn't someone just saying their their Illinois um, yeah. local arcade had a version of Junior First? Yeah. So. So. Hmm. Well, probably much easier to get around it that could area. Be. <laughs> That's possible. Yeah. It shows created 2020. MSX in Japan. Whoever yeah. does a wiki always deletes most homebrews. Yeah. Bastards. Oh, uh, that's terrible. Maybe they, like, you shouldn't be able to delete it if there's proper references like you yeah. have to know how to work wikipedia so that you don't get deleted you have to word it perfectly yeah you have true. to give like two or three references yeah so if you link it to like atari age or like packrat vg if it's packrat's uh list of releases or yeah. wherever it's released um it shouldn't be deleted yeah um, because you've given reference, like, look, it's it's really there. It has to be referenced. That's yeah, if you can't just it. add it in. Yeah. Because Wikipedia is, there's people on there that just delete things. Yeah. Like, oh, nope, only I can add it. Mm. Um, okay. Mm? Good. Um, so, next show is completely unplanned as well. Um I did schedule pressure cooker to be played today, but we're not going to play because sure. yeah, this was enough. Like I'm just oh, going to concentrate on this. Absolutely no, I 
thoroughly enjoy your choices today. Oh, they good. are all great games. I, I, I love all these games. I knew it'd be a fun thing to do is yeah. do a compilation of favorites. Yeah. Because they're all going to be fun. Mm. They're all crowd favorites usually. Yeah. Um, uh, I would. Um, oh, I yeah. cannot wait until we are post pandemic and we can do quad tar games. Yes. I am so looking forward to that and. It's, so I'm kind of it, glad that the quad tire is not ready yet because I don't want to have it and then not have four people. Well, and, and the funny thing is, is like, it just makes me anticipate it more knowing that we can't do it right now. So yeah. I'm really looking forward to doing it. But that. I know that's, so that's coming really, really soon, the quad tire. Yeah. It's, it's like yeah. that close to being done. Yeah. No, that's very exciting. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, it could be because they want to avoid self-promotion. That is very, mm. very, true very with, true. True with Wikipedia. Yeah. yeah. They do not want you putting your things in there. Yeah. And they s probably see Homebrew as like, oh, it's just some guy making a game. A random game, yeah. And he just wants to sell things, sell his game. Yeah. That's a small little project. Yeah, yeah. But I understand that. So yeah. you just have to do it correctly, and then mm -hmm. it makes it hard for them to delete it. But even then... They still delete it. Mm -hmm. I, I remember trying to put things in, and it's so hard. Uh, it looks like I missed most of the show. Was waiting for a contactless hamburger. hamburger. <laughs> we got contactless pizza. Yeah, we do do that here. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, usually our Friday uh, plan. Is uh, you order pizza yeah, and then I don't have there. time to cook because I have to prepare and the show. And then I'm driving home from work, so it's yeah. this. Uh, no one has time to actually make food. So yeah. yeah. So thanks for yeah. hanging out today, mm -hmm. everyone. Oh, this show is streaming the whole time in the background. What? Yeah. Where? They couldn't hear it. But, like, I had the stream manager oh, in, really? in Twitch going. Oh, shit. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. We have it, lots of It shouldn't have affected anything, but still. Yeah. Um, so thanks for tuning in That's today, funny. everyone. We yes. have... Uh, oh, wait. We, I'm going to say some stuff where it's coming up before okay. I say people's names. All right. Uh, developer Spotlight. Big show. Yes. On the 18th. We're going to be talking with John Shampoo mm -hmm. over the internet. Mm -hmm. We're going to be playing all of his games. I'm so excited. Even the DOS games yeah. I have ready. Yeah. Um, and Gorf Arcade nice. is going to be premiered nice. on the 18th. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people are looking forward to Gorf Arcade. It's a fun multi-level game. And it's going to include all the levels. Because mm. there was Gorf put out on various systems and they got rid of one of the levels because of issues. Like one, the people wouldn't let them include it because it was like uh, part of it. It was from another game. Okay. But we will have it. Um, nice. So that's going to be a lot of fun. That's uh, and then we have the Holiday Homebrew Special. Yay! Which I added a new game to just the other oh, day. Oh, really? Okay, cool. Uh, Santa Jump, oh, which is cool. Amoeba Jump turned into Santa Claus. No! It's really cute. Wow. Yeah. Um, so we have a bunch of games for that. <gasps> mean Santa, VCS Dreidel, Santa Simon, Bite Before Christmas, Cold War, and Santa Jump. I think we haven't played any of those before. Um, so that will be a lot of fun. We have a couple unannounced events coming up. One should be coming super soon. Super soon. We're like, yeah. And the other one, very soon. Mm. Um, so I also still have to get prepared for both of those to make them very fun. Mm. Um, Dan Kitchen's Gold Rush is was planned to be out before the end of the year, but I haven't heard anything yet so about that. we're still that. hoping. It's still hoping. Yeah. Um, That'll be our New Year's stream, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. But we'll come back. If we have to do any of these unannounced things, like mm. 25th is our last show for a little bit mm. because it's the end of the year um, until we get back again. Santa mm. Jump was added to the plus card site today. Nice. Oh, very cool. Okay. <laughs> and I need Zookeeper to keep up with, with John Shampoo collection. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it, kind of the John Shampoo developer spotlight will coincide with his Avalanche and Zookeeper releases on nice. the Atari Age nice. uh, store as well. Yeah. Made it to 11. <laughs> Congratulations, <Yes>. Carl G. <laughs> well, it's only 8.30. Oh, wow. Um, and then <laughs> after the new year, we're going to be going through all the nominated games yes. from 2020 for the third annual Atari Homebrew Awards. Yeah. And you guys will be voting on this, I believe, on the 15th, starting the vote. 15th or 18th? Mm -hmm. I think it's the 15th. 
And then on February 6th is the big show. It may just be Tanya and I. Um, we don't know. I hope not. I hope we can at least have people in masks. We can, if the rates go down. Worst comes to worst. That window over there, we can open up and we can put someone standing outside of... Uh, we'll be upstairs. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, with the green screen. Green, well, no, but we could have someone on our balcony. We could. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, there are yeah. ways to make it work. So Yeah, to do the switching. Yeah. Yeah. We can make it work. Yeah. Yeah. I think we can make it work. A to Z releases from, yeah, Avalanche yeah. to Zookeeper from John. Yeah. <clears throat> and a month after, the awards, the the Harmony Games. Ah. So Dan does a thing every year mm -hmm. where he takes the winners of the Homebrew Awards. Oh. Um, where did I just put that? Put it back. Okay. Yeah. And he does a high score competition with all the winners of the uh, categories. Yeah. And there's a lot of categories this year. So... You can have a lot of competitions, which would be fun. Uh, three years. We st we tied the Stan Atari Awards. Yay! <laughs> One more and we're the longest running Atari 2600 uh, uh, award awards show. Awards show. Yeah. Lovely. Uh, peek in through the window. <laughs> <laughs> I, s I don't see why not. Yeah. You can make it work. Yep. But that'll be lots of fun. Um, so that will be set us up for a long time. And in the new year, we're going to be going back to two times a week. Um, yeah. Don't know what you'll days. have a lot of games to play too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All the all the nominees plus yeah. any new games that are released. Yeah. Uh, we'll probably go back to Sundays and Wednesdays is what Wednesdays, we were doing before. I think. Oh no, I can't do Wednesdays. So maybe Tuesdays and Sundays. Will that work for you? Not great. Well, so we'll Thursdays is better because there's two days in okay. between. Okay. Because like Wednesdays. Yeah, yeah. Sundays and Thursdays are better. Because then Tuesdays, there's Friday, Saturday. Tuesdays and Sundays are worse, for, are better for me. Well, that's nice. <laughs> it's terrible for me because there's one day in between. That's terrible. Ah, it's like true. boom, boom, nonstop, getting ready for shows. <laughs> we'll work that. Thursday. What's wrong with Thursday? You have something to do? Ah, I do usually. Cancel it. Ah, <laughs> uh, we'll work it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Anyway, we're going back to two days a week. Yeah. Um, because there's so much to do yeah. in the new year. But yeah. uh, it's been a good break for the last little while. There hasn't been a lot of new stuff. No, people are yeah. uh, getting ready for the holidays. There's been a lot of big releases. Um, I don't know why, because everyone's in lockdown. But yeah. regardless. <laughs> well, it should be. Well, the, the first start <laughs> of the pandemic, especially in the spring... There was this continuous release of games, which was oh, crazy. It was like boom, boom overwhelming, boom boom, 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 boom. And then I think it's it's slowed down as as the years oh, progress. Yes, so, I ran yeah. final was posted. Oh, yes. cool. So uh, VHZC finished. I ran. Oh, lovely. Okay. So we may yeah. play that the next show. Okay. Um, it's possible. I couldn't include it this time because there wasn't enough other things to play. Yeah. And I wanted to do the favorites, mm. but I probably put in the next one. So we can, oh, why is that mm. so bright? Just gets, see, gets in the camera. Yeah. Just puts a little blinding light here. Yeah, um, So thanks for tuning in, yeah. everyone. S. Ramirez, Lots 2008. Of people today. Arena Fu, yeah. Dan ABC, Nathan Strom, Shoki, 1968, Carl G. S. Ramirez was there, too. S. Ramirez. Oh, I said that first. Did you? Uh, MCP90, Miss Command, mm. Mick Muse. Uh, Rena Foot, I Nathan think I said. Strum. Nathan Strom, I already said. Pack Rat VG. Lem McAllister. Chai 574. Armscar Coder. Coder. Thanks for tuning in. Flackets. Um, Carl G in there. I don't know. Said I think you said them, and I, I, I just don't want, I don't want you to miss anyone. VHZC. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I know there's more names. Maybe they've been yeah. Ground off. Trooper. Yeah. Uh, Metal Lunar 7. Metal Lunar 7. Oh, didn't see a pop in there. It's probably playing. Yeah. Great Defender. Yes. At the top of the show as well. Excellent. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Too. Yeah. Yeah, tell me about it, Tanya. What was that in reference? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Popeye 7800 is, is incredible. Oh, he's, cool. He's like that close to being finished. I see him post um, update videos mm. on his channel. And I can't see what he's even updating because it looks fine every time. Yeah. But he's probably updating tiny, tiny things. Oh, they're so wait. good. I can't it's wait such for the game. release of that. I hope he's able to beautiful. put it on a cartridge. He did such a beautiful That's job a with it. That's a killer yeah. game. Um, so we'll be back uh, next Friday. Yes. On the 11th, is it? 
Yep, Friday the 11th. So we will... Oh, great show from Dan. Thank you very Thank much, Dan. Uh, so we'll see you uh, then. Yeah. Um, so thanks for tuning in. And yeah. uh, see you next Friday. Good night. Bye, everyone. Keep well. Bye, guys.